turn up the podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gonna. Check it, check it, check it. It's you, Nicole. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know, my dad, we're going. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now at this moment. This is the time when you take to go through your phone and make sure you're all following us on all social media platforms. And I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. We're on every platform. If you Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, we will pop up first in line, okay? Yeah. But... Y'all always see us on the road and be like, how can we support a brand? Do I need to buy merch? Do I need to, what do we need to do? Because I love what y'all doing and y'all need to keep grinding. Y'all doing this for the city, for the culture. Okay, this is what you need to do. Under each and every video that we have, in the description below, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link. It takes you through all the process of how to join a membership. That's how you can support this brand so we can keep doing what we're doing and keep providing this content, this great content every day. Thank you in advance. Y'all heard what she said every day. You know what I'm saying? It not 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 don't miss a day. No. Man. Three, four hey, times a day. That's hard. That's hard. That's where we gotta go with this, man. Thank everybody for watching Boss Talk 101, man. We got a special treat for y'all today. This guy don't need no introduction. This guy rep Dallas harder than anybody that I done seen in a long time. That's what he do. I, every time I look around, if it's something to do with the city, this guy right here gonna spit it. Check it, man. You know, that's me right there. <laughs> Boy, when I say check it, man, y'all got to pay attention, man. Thank you for coming on the show. Seven, the greatest in the building. Say, man, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> this, 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 yeah. this is a beautiful thing. You know, we, 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 we pass, dude. We pass, dude. We pass, dude. We pass, dude. I, I, look, I'm not. I'm trying to let you make it. I'm not going to do this. I'm trying to let you make it. No, no, no. You can let it make it. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, Lord. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wasn't here that day, but I heard it it all let me tell you it didn't start getting bad till prophecy came on oh man that hurt me and when prophecy came on he's like oh i know i can get seven the great because they both was here the first time when they did da, 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 cypher. What, the cypher and i was like I and he showed, showed me the video and this when you weren't like there that. jessica was here that day right. she even sung for them niggas uh, you know what I'm saying? do you even remember that day i like it like it was yesterday Wow! I remember what I had on another day. I had on similar colors. I was about to this. say because he had on what similar I saw colors. You today, why I wore the same like... thing. Everything with me is themed. That's why I wore like similar. Well, colors. you know, oh, wow. as yeah. y'all already seeing what's going on, so, a reunited no, reconnection so why, is in the building. So now wait a minute. I got to go back. <laughs> Let me go back. I got to get the receipts first. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show nobody. I'm just gonna look for myself. I want to see what happened right here. But did he go hard even? Wait a minute. Now, oh no, I got that part. But I'm talking about in my messages here. I oh, got to go oh. to my med, the receipts, receipt. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Receipts, I got to go to receipts. Let, wait a minute, seven the greatest in the building. <laughs> Finally, we started boss talking when? Probably in 20, Three one, years ago. 21. Mm -hmm. yeah, 21. In May of 2021, I said, hey, man, <laughs> I'm, I got this podcast. And I say, man, you got to come check it out. It was like, I want to set up an interview. And I said, for the first week of June, that's yeah. the first time I hit you up. Yeah. In May 2021. Boss Talk didn't have many members at the time, many followers. I just was trying to do something. I didn't even know what I was doing, really, but it was hard. It was hard because a lot of people was tapping in from DeRoe, from uh, Columbus Short. Mm -hmm. God bless Columbus. You know who heard yeah, of Columbus yeah, Short? Yeah, he definitely. called us from L.A. I'll never forget it. He tapped in before anybody. Mm -hmm. He said, man, you and your wife been married? At that time, it had been about 17, mm -hmm. 18 years. He's 17 years. He's like, man, I just want to meet y'all, bro. For y'all to kick yeah, it and do a yeah. show like that. Flew in on his own down. Yeah. <laughs> Came down and showed us love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's a lot of stories like that. Sir right, Charles right, Jones and right, all of them, right, you know. Right, right. And I knew you was busy. At, at least that's what I felt. I'm like, yeah, the nigga either yeah. busy or he capping. I ain't going to lie. That's what I said. Understandable. I said that because I'm going to be honest with you, you. It's so much stuff going on that you don't really know. And I ain't giving him no excuse. But I'm yeah, just saying, yeah, yeah. I did feel that part. But then I come back. It was a little bit later on, too. I got it on. I got the receipts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I still didn't get you. And I was yeah. upset. And she had to hear it. So you owe my wife an apology. 
Because oh, I was on I, her about it. I talked to you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We talk, and I was going to apologize to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, that, and, that, and, and you can ask anybody in this city. That is so much out of my character. That's what you folks saying. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, so, everybody told us that. Well, I still didn't want to hear it. Yeah, they said that. A lot of people would yeah. pick they up love you. you. They said, yeah. no, that's not like him. Yeah. Bro, three folks. Sometimes life, life, y'all. Mm, Sometimes true. life be life. Three that's folks. People. You know what I'm saying? It's three three years. Oh, but check it out. <laughs> then, like I told oh, you, it, it got to a point to where y'all starting getting so big. I felt the pressure. I uh, said, man, uh, I can't. I said, man, I can't hit these people up now, man. <laughs> I said, I can't hit these folks up now, man. You know how that look, man. I, understand, I said, I can't hit these folks up now. <laughs> then he got me back. I say, hey. So I, 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 I swallowed my pride one day. I hit up. E. I say, hey, e, I'm ready now. Boy, he left me on the scene. I did for a year. For a whole year. year. For a year. But I said, hey, oh, no, man. I'm mad as hell right now. I took now. that. I took that. I said, but yeah, yeah, that it I wasn't nothing but the devil. Hey. I told you that yes, uh, yeah. the other day. Yeah. Like yeah. the devil, he come to kill, steal, and destroy. Most he different. know that a divided house can't stand. So the way that he does is he comes at you and he does play ish. He play games with you mm -hmm. to try to keep our people separate, right, bro. Right. And that's all that was. But yeah. at the end yeah. of the day, all it takes is a conversation. Most different. Most and different. I'm gonna Most get different. that to you. If you yeah. pick that phone yeah. up, yeah. my phone number been the same for what about 25 years? Yeah. Yep. It don't change. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So Straight you up. pick that phone up, you call me. Yeah. I'm gonna say, hey man, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. You might not like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's a few yeah. niggas there on the internet, they be mad right now. F F boss talk, man. Them <laughs> niggas from <laughs> holes over there. Yeah, and that's yeah, cool. That's you know cool. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But if, if you really look at it, people really gotta realize, man, I'm a black man married to this black woman for 21 years, about to be. Yeah. And to be honest with you, you came here probably nine, ten years ago. Yeah, maybe, it might have been by, seven, seven, eight. Oh, nah, by ten. Ten. Honestly, by, by ten, ten years, years yeah. ago. Yeah. Now, see, ten years yeah. ago, yeah. I was standing here strong. Mm -hmm. I had LRG behind you. I never yeah. forget it. Yeah. I yeah. had them brands. I had some uh, SOD. Yeah, because this store been here boy. eighteen years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. We've been here eighteen, 18 years. Eighteen years. So yeah. when you look at that man, just to be a black-owned businessman, when y'all came that day, when Prophecy came and y'all came, yeah. It's like, man, I got to help be a part. That's the culture. What y'all mm -hmm. doing is for our culture, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I knew that then. Yeah. I knew there wasn't many black-owned businesses around then. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much have tried to be there for all the other people. For everybody. Right, right, right. And, but, right. but see, I, and, and another thing now, my wife from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I'm a East Texas cat. Right, right, So this right, is something right. that uh, I have to talk. I talked to Mr. Hit that yesterday. Oh, I know how you niggas be talking from Dallas. Them niggas ain't from Dallas, man. Them niggas, I'm talking about some people, right, not right, just right, you, but right, right, them niggas right. ain't even, nigga, yeah. I've been, nigga, I ate free lunches in, in, in Oak Cliff at yeah. that park right down St. and Beckley. Yeah. I, my auntie been there since the 60s, nigga. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I was here before 30 years ago before some of you niggas was born. Born, yeah. So quit yeah. playing with yeah. me, bro. Yeah. I was at them clubs that you niggas never did even get to see established in yeah. Dallas. Yeah. So, I and I don't, I don't take that lightly, man. I just love... I love our culture, mm -hmm. and that's what is more about our people. Mm -hmm. They need to see the artists in Dallas. They need to see the artists in Houston. Yeah. Shout out to Kiki and all them boys that rock mm -hmm. with Boss Talk. You know what I'm saying? Propane them yeah. because they need to see our talent. That's mm -hmm. why I put this together, to be honest with you. Yeah. But shouldn't the important thing be, no matter if you're from here or not, is that you bring in light to that city, the city that right. you're from, right. in right. a positive right. way. Right. So even if somebody is not from here but they want to rep your city, they must love the city why they want to rep mm -hmm. it. You understand? Mm -hmm. And that's something that anybody should look as being something good. Right, right, You understand? Right, like, right. I have a great city and you should want to rep it. Yeah, but they still looking at you sideways. You got Say Cheese here. He from Philadelphia originally. Mm -hmm. You got Dallas Glover here. He's from New, New Orleans. Orleans. Uh -huh. Then you got E, but I'm from Texas, nigga. Don't yeah. get it twisted. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, I know yeah, already yeah. where I stand uh -huh. and I, that's why I was a UGK fan because right, they right, rep right, Texas, right, right, nigga. Right. And that's why I'm big with Bun B. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to go get that interview. It's certain ones I got to deal with. Gotta, yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? I'm yeah, looking at yeah. Jay Prince probably next. That's what I'm looking mm -hmm. for, the old man. Okay, okay. Stuff like that, man. You know, the thing is, we are from Texas. And, and niggas who be trying to die, divide and dice it up, nigga, y'all hurting our, city, our mm -hmm. state, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. And we know that. The devil comes. I just told you yeah, that. Yeah, and that's facts. You that's know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> if yeah, Houston yeah. and Dallas would have really, really bridged that gap and came together, how big it's would Texas be? We unstoppable. We unstoppable. And that's the part. That's yeah. that part right there. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But it's going to take some people like you and propane. It's yeah. going to take some yeah. breaking down these walls and building these bridges. Mm -hmm. It's going to take some 
Kiki and maybe Lil Runny that I just introduced okay. him the other okay. day. Okay. Like okay. it's stuff like that that yeah. I do over here yeah. Yeah. that I don't think nobody else is even doing they like not. that, bro. They not. They not. You know, it don't matter saying? to them. It matters to me. Exactly. But I got a question though because um, I'm going to do this different. I'm, I'm going to background later on. But okay. um, my question <laughs> is because you're from Dallas, time. right? Right. And you know, one thing since I've been here. I love the way Houston move, and I hear people always talk about the way Atlanta move, how the way Houston move, because they're all so yeah. camaraderie. They do things for the city, and you can see it all over social media. You can mm -hmm. see that. I'm sure they all have their little beefs and tips and stuff like that, right, but right. the unity outweighs all of that. And they always say, I always hear Dallas is not like that. Dallas is a cr crab in a barrel you know, mentality. Right, right. But you being here, and I see social media, I see some people like, you know, do shows like Fat Pimp. He's very big for Dallas. Shout you know out what Fat I mean? Pimp. Yeah. And he tried to come together with other people. But what is it why we can't have that unity and why they don't show that coming together except from just when they're going out and doing shows, but are coming together like in the community, coming together to, so that we could have that camaraderie. Yeah. What, is, what is it that's stopping us from having that and showing that? I just think, my personal opinion, I just think we don't have a culture. Like the Dallas, the city of Dallas don't have a culture that, that resonates in the music business, like Houston, Atlanta, California. The closest thing we had was the boogie movement. Mm -hmm. And we divided that. As a whole, because you had a bunch of dudes talking about, I ain't, I ain't doing no dancing. I ain't doing no dancing. But that was the closest thing that we had to culture. And so when you see those guys, they talk like they from Houston. They walk like they got swingers. They got, you know what I'm saying? And we we just got the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so we haven't had nothing but basically sports or something that can join us. They have a culture that joins them because when you go somewhere, everybody look the same. When you in Dallas, you got Oak Cliff. They look like Oak Cliff. You got South Dallas. They look like uh, niggas from yeah, South, South Dallas. Dallas. Where's Dallas. You know what I'm saying? We haven't really had a culture to join us like they do. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, you got all these artists working with each other because they have culture, and we don't. How can we – what's the solution? Because just like um, every time when I mention a problem, I need to find a solution yeah. and not just – Let's not talk about it. Just be about it. But we first got to talk about it and come up with a plan. I just think. So what my, is it? I just think we need more platforms like this to bring us together as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Like like doing interviews with ten Dallas artists that never been in the same room together. Mm -hmm. We got a, a lot of us that never met each other, but all us been here. But we never met each other to say, hey, bro, man, I'm, I'm a fan of yours, bro. Like, hey, bro, my first time me, I was listening to you, Her my number, Her my number. So and so, so, man, meet me at the studio. That's how I start. We have no platforms that bring us together. I like that idea, what you, you just said. You know said. what I'm saying? We have no platforms. But when you see platforms, different platforms, I'm a name them, say cheeses and all this, it's all about the beefs. Mm -hmm. It's the beefs. When we need twenty dollars artists, ten dollars artists in the same room, connecting and building culture, mm -hmm. and that's what platforms like this can do that we don't have and never had. I like the uh -huh. idea because for the main fact, when you're saying what you're saying, it reminds me of Jamaica, where we have different communities that are, um, what should I say? ran by their own massive then. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. And you have the Donna that area, the Donna this mm -hmm, area, the Donna mm -hmm, that area. Mm -hmm. And you know, they control that area. Right. So with what you're saying, really we need to find one person who represents South Dallas. That area, that area. One person that represent Oak Cliff. One person yeah. that represent that all of these areas um, respect that person. Mm -hmm. You understand that mm -hmm. they can say, okay, this is the person that can speak for us. For us, right. And have right. each of them come together right. in one room and say, okay, how can we bring Dallas together? Because we are mm -hmm. all Dallas together. Mm -hmm. We're not just Dallas. Oak Cliff is just not just Dallas. It's not. Nah. South nah. Dallas is not, not just, just Dallas. Dallas right. But all of us coming together right. is right. Dallas. So mm -hmm. what can we do to represent? Because I'm tired. Honestly, I'm tired of hearing Houston is so this and community and that's great for them and Atlanta that's great for them right, right. but I'm tired of Dallas not being that way mm -hmm. you understand what I mean I mm -hmm. want Dallas to come together and think about what you're saying all these dudes you go to Houston you go to um, Swiss House you can go back to the oh all these dudes are from different places of Houston mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. so that what that's what makes the city come together if I if I come in here I'm like I'm just being honest if I come in here I'm gonna have a bunch of South Dallas niggas with me yeah mm -hmm. 
um, so and so, Yellow Beach, Freddie, anybody, they have a bunch of Oak Cliff niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we need to join. Like people need to join up. That's how we build a city. Well, I I look at like I said, it it definitely can happen. It's not going to be no easy road. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot of things that stop that from happening in a major way with the Mo Three death. Right. You right, know, we right. can't. We, and not just Mo Three, but all the people on both sides. A lot of people don't ever talk about the fallen soldiers before Mo Three. There were people that, you know what I mean, passed away or got caught up in some yeah. some mess that yeah. was it from another side of mm -hmm. town. Let's just put mm -hmm. it like that. Mm -hmm. And I think those things are hidden ways that the devil hold a notch right. on you so right. that you right. won't come right. together and, and in a major way. Yeah, That's right. In a division. major way. Yeah. Yeah. And that has to be spoken on if you're really trying to break down that cycle of being divided. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. There has to be some forgiveness. A lot of times people can't, if somebody like me and you, that what happened with the situation, it could have been a thing where I was the type of nigga that was like, nah, I ain't never mess with that nigga yeah. no more. Yeah. I'm Just being like real. That. Just Cause like there's that. certain niggas mm -hmm. that will hold on to stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And then you'll be like, man, if that show, man, he always letting people talk about me go. on there. And, there and that's the way it would have been. You know, I'm saying something, you yeah, know what I'm saying? saying? And then I'm in the streets looking like, man, yeah. I've been, if I see that nigga, he better keep it moving and stuff. That's the way a nigga mind be be going, you know, the devil have yeah. it like that so ego. those those things are ego, ego edging god out yeah. this is the thing we gotta understand man we gotta start forgiving one another yeah and i know it sounds cliche mm -hmm. it's sunday too we in here on a sunday yeah in case you niggas want to know you <laughs> you church going niggas you know what i'm saying yeah, so, real, so what i'm saying is so that mean y'all gotta watch what we say today we yeah. we basically all I'm saying is we can break down the cycle, but we have to be start start with forgiveness. Yeah. You know, forgiveness. You know I mean? Forgiveness is cool, but some people some people find forgiveness very hard. Right. They always say it's easier said than done. Right. I say first start off with putting um, the community over yourself. Really. Yeah. Putting yeah. this everything over yourself because ego is dealing with yourself. With yourself. You understand right. what I mean? Right. So if you put okay, we gonna make Dallas come on the map in a bigger way than anything else and put that over yourself, whether I don't like you, but I'm going to work with you. Mm -hmm. And when you're working together, eventually that forgiveness and that whatever is going to come. You understand? Because yeah, you can see yeah. that y'all working together and it, it'll bring unity in a way where, okay, yeah, we, we cool. I didn't like what you do. And, yeah, you know, yeah. that can come with... Um, apologizing mm -hmm. eventually when they really get to know each other because that's really why people be beefing because they don't really know the person don't know the situation mm -hmm. that they was in blah 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 you know simple stuff just a lack of communication exactly yeah. so, so I really feel I, that I would work like, better when you think about the people that love Seven the Great and they love the road music and they love Lil Ronnie Mother Elf they love Fat Pimp that you know that love uh, say any of these boys yeah. man uh when you look at Mr. Lucci and Pookie and all these Don mm -hmm. Chief, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, there's people that walk up to me literally. Rainwater. There's mm -hmm. people that walk up to me literally. Uh, Puka Leroy. They mm -hmm. walk up to me and say, man, I, I only watch Boss Talk when you have the local niggas on there. Mm -hmm. They tell me that. They tell you My that. fans would come up mm -hmm. to me and say, man, get more local niggas on mm -hmm. there. Man, I watch them local. I don't even watch them out of town niggas. Then you got niggas from Africa say, man, I love Boss Talk. Then you got niggas from New York that say, hey, man, when you get up here, make sure you holler at me. Big, big yeah. name niggas. Big name, yeah. What yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I have to yeah. be a balancer in the midst of all yeah. the yeah. Houston. Man, hey, man, we just heard what you said about the old man, man. We're going to try to get him on the show. Get a call. Man, Drake going to be in town. I get these mm -hmm. calls. Mm -hmm. New Orleans say they love the New way Orleans. how we represent the city. They yeah. love that. Y'all yeah. come down. Y'all the only one come down and show us love and pull up like mm -hmm. that, man. So what I'm saying is... You got a people that are core people here that love Dallas, man. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and you know that too. Most you definitely. be in the streets, most definitely. So they 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 don't they don't care if you from South Dallas, they don't care if you from Oak Cliff, the city. they don't care if you from North the Dallas, city. they don't yep. care if you from yep. Capel, nigga. Yep. 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 They, love the <laughs> they love the fact that mm -hmm. they hear and they want to hear you the mm -hmm. stories. But how do we how do we make sure that we leave a legacy that your kids kids can be proud of? Right. How do we do that? Do we come and tell our story in a way to where it can bring essence to their life? Or do we come on here and start popping it about this nigga said that yeah, and yeah, that nigga yeah, said yeah, this? Yeah. What we doing? Mm -hmm. 
You think we Cat Williams around this hole? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cat Williams and all the other comedians that got smashed yeah. on Channel and Shay Shay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, thank you for coming on the show. Let's start this okay. thing. So l- let me get Boy, into... Boy, that show was a hell of an intro. We ain't never done that before. <laughs> the damn nigga, he done, he done disrupted what we do. <laughs> now, that's fine, though. Yeah. You can change it up sometime. But, okay, so born and raised in... We're, what part of Dallas? South Dallas. South I, I, Dallas. I was actually, actually, true story, I was actually born in Holland Hills. Okay. But I was raised, like, from six up in South Dallas, Dixon Circle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I was born in Holland Hills. Though. Shout out to Larry Jones. Larry Jones, straight up one of my best partners. My my the reason why I'm here I'm here today. Wow. Why straight why up. is he the reason why you That was, was the first person so on Dixon Circle, he know. We was the drug capital in the city. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. growing yeah. up, so growing up, I idolized nothing but drug dealers. Mm-hmm. And that's what I wanted to be. I told my teacher, I tell my teachers in elementary, I'm gonna be a drug dealer. Really? It's a fact. It's a fact. I just tell him to be a drug dealer. So when Larry came home one time, that was the first time I seen somebody in that light. He came to the hood and gave away shoes. And I saw how the drug dealers treated him. You know what I'm saying? All the dudes I'm looking up to, I saw how they treated him. They look up to him. I say, oh, no, I don't want to be them niggas no more. I want to so be who him. was he? Okay, for for people like me, he know who he is. But right. I, for people like me who don't know who he is, because you said when he came home, so he went to prison. No, no, he, he, no. no, he's he a, he's NBA. A, he, NBA. Oh, NBA. Okay, NBA. okay, yeah, yeah. NBA so, player. So he's okay, an NBA. Okay. He's a. He's I didn't. Know, I don't he was know. An NBA first. She's Jamaican. If you're yeah, okay. Soccer. She a, she a late, I watch late NBA yeah. too. Yeah. But no, yeah, yeah, so he was he was the top the top high school. This this long, but I'm saying he was a top high school prospect, the number one. He went number one in the draft. He won a college championship. He was big. Okay. And so you know, growing up on Dixon, you know, he was he actually from our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And so, like I'm saying, to see the drug dealers look up to Got him, mm-hmm. that's what I wanted. I didn't want to be them no more. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be him because I wanted that respect. Like damn, like these, you know, these niggas risking their life. You know what I'm saying? This man worked clock because you heard, you know, growing up, you heard the stories every day. He was at that court all day, every day. Mm-hmm. So should I start being at the court all day, every day? You know wow. what I'm saying? I just took that path and followed his path. We did we went different ways, but just to move with that honor and 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 he always kept his hood on him, you know, everything interview off Dixon Circle, you know. So that that taught me how to move and then as I got older, you know, he started coming to my games because I was, you know, pretty good at basketball. I was saying, where he you started getting? coming to my games that's and stuff. And so we actually built the relationship. Wow. So that's one of the like as far as a mentor, that's like one of my closest people that ever been in my life. You know what I'm saying? He helped invest in me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate him for that. So it's been a, we have a great relationship. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So um, were you raised with your mom and dad in the same household? I was, I was, I was, I was, I was actually raised with my dad and my, and my stepmother. Okay. Like that's... Me, me and my stepmother is very close. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. I, we, I really never call her my stepmother, but you know, just for the story, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, me and my mother. How I, we, old were you when you um, met her? When you were in her? Oh, life? she been around since I like ever since I can remember. Okay. Yeah, like I'm talking about one, two. Like she been around like ever since I can remember her. Mm-hmm. And she uh, she was just over my house yesterday seeing my son. Like she still carried the title. Like she never have shown separation. So my brother is her man. My brother had the same dad, but different mo- different mothers. Mm-hmm. But. She never shows separation. Mm. When we go somewhere since I was a kid, four or five years old, oh, that's my son. It's, I never right. heard her say step Ugh. in life ever. So where where was your mom during? She this was thing? she was around, but you know it was just it wasn't it wasn't always a, a good relationship. Like me and my mother, just be that we never really had a good relationship. Mm-hmm. But that's my mother though. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I respect the. But it just and then growing up with my father, we was on Dixon. I love Dixon, and I had three brothers there. Mm-hmm. See, I got three sisters also, but I had three brothers there, so that was more relatable to me. And then when I go on Dixon, it's like, you know, my homeboys, you know, so I just pretty much just stayed. I, I tried to go every now and then, go stay with my mother, but it wasn't the same, though. It yeah. just wasn't the same. Because she had three girls. Over she had three girls. So you felt like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, it's just a different, I didn't have the friends and, the environment, because Dixon was a fast-paced environment. It, it, it was she me a in lot. Highland Hills? She, yeah, she, they, they always been in Oak Cliff. My mother, they always. Oh, okay. She was um, she was she from East Dallas Projects. Like both sides of my families are from East Dallas Projects. Okay. So, 
I have that history too. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she, 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 you know, she been around. It was just a, um, it was just a disconnect. You know what I'm saying? But between and and I and I and I have just to not get off paper, but I have suffered from that too. How oh, for sure? Yeah, I suffered How? because um, I had when I when I I'm just getting out the attitude of um. I used to have an attitude of if my mother can treat me like this, though, anybody in the world could. I always looked at my mother like when I was younger, like she done me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand her hurting her pain, what she been through. So I looked at her like she just done me wrong my whole life. And so I had an attitude, a lack of love inside my heart that if anybody can hurt, if my mother can hurt me, anybody in this world can hurt me. So I never trusted people. I never cared about relationships. I never cared about love. So you don't agree with, because I've heard some people and um, sit at that seat and say, well, usually for the opposite, usually because most kids are always with their mom with their moms, and right, not their right, daddy. Right, right. But they usually say, well, I had a stepfather in my life, so yeah. I never was lacking for yeah. a daddy. He was that yeah, daddy right, to right, me. Right. So, oh, I don't care about him. Right. But in my mind, I'm like, no, you care somewhat. You just talking. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to admit it. Well, you most it. definitely do. So that's why I'm asking you, yeah. you know, so you had that woman in your life that was like same. your it's mom. It's not the same, though. It's, it, like, and I'm speaking from experience. Right. It's just not the same because I can see my brother talking to her, you know, talking to his mother, which is my stepmother, about things that I never would have talked to her about just because I'm uncomfortable with it. It don't matter how long you've been around. It's just sometimes some things are just uncomfortable to talk about. Other than me talking to my mother and like us having that mother and son relationship to where, man, mama, guess what happened? I'm talking to this girl. I couldn't. It, I just couldn't build up. But I couldn't build up enough courage mm -hmm. to talk to my stepmother about different things because it just wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't. Did wow. you ever figure out why your mom? What? Cause you know when you get grown, you build I up have, the courage. I have, I have, so did, I what have. did she say? Why she like, was like, like just, that? She just so 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 we deal we deal with on my mother's side. We deal with a lot of hurt and pain. And so you know, my mother had me. She was seventeen, eighteen years old. So. She never knew how to express her pain. You know, said many things that happened to her crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand that I'm just a kid wanting my mother. But I don't know she don't know how to tell you she love you. Mm -hmm. I don't know she don't know how to show love. You know what I'm saying? Because she was never shown love. Never been with her daddy. Never met her daddy. You know what I'm saying? So it's things that she went through in her life that she lacked with her kids on. You know what I'm saying? How old were you when she told you all of this? This, 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 all, all, this is like in the past, like five, six years. Like, mm -hmm. and it's not, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not even what she told me. This is one of my sisters. I have twin sisters. And me and my sister, Brandy, she's always tried to be present in my life no matter where I was at. She always reached that brother I love. I'm talking about even when she was, when she was a kid. Brother, I love, I don't care. I'll be like, man, how you get this number? I'll be over with <laughs> my dad. Like, hey, she called me, brother. Hey, I, I love, she's six, seven years old. Yeah. I love you. And she do that right to this day. This whole and so she told me stuff about my mother that I never knew. Because me and my mother never had this conversation. It's still uncomfortable today. It's still mm -hmm. uncomfortable mm -hmm. today for us to talk about certain stuff because we just never shared a bond. We don't have a bond. But would you say that she overcompensated by pushing you off to your dad? Because she, she didn't never pushed me off. Well, how did you no, meet it? No, I made that. I, I made my own decisions. Oh. I've been making my own decisions. So you didn't. You just didn't go over there. Yeah, I just because because. But my, you say you were one and two when you was with him I and was, the stepmom. No, no, I was with my mother in Holly Hills. I was with my mother. Uh, how old so, was you? To six years old. Yeah, I was with my mother and my grandma. Yeah, there. then okay. I went. I started being with my daddy. You like, told her you wanted to. Yeah, stay like that over was there. that was my because. Uh, okay, so I was so bad too. <laughs> so she was like, you know, like you, on boys in the yeah, hood. You know, you, you drop his go, ass off with furious styles. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta go. And once I touched it, so my daddy, I didn't have a relationship with him either, young, because he was in the navy. And so when he came back from Virginia, I'm like, shit. He came and got me one day. He come get me. I said, man, nigga, I ain't go. I'm talking. I'm, I'm about five, six years. I said, nigga, I ain't going with you. He took me in the bathroom, jacked me up. I went out, told my uncles, everybody, I said, I hate him. I'm never going with that nigga in my life. So, but my end up going. So his sisters used to always come get me. They used to out, they always used to come get me. He got two sisters. They, my Aunt Ken and my Aunt Peaches always came and got me since I was born. I didn't know my daddy. I didn't know him. 
But when he came back from the na Navy, that's when we started building a relationship. I finally went over there with him. So I got another brother who's older than me. We locked in. I'm like, okay. I like this nigga. I like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we just start rolling in. We start rolling out. And so that was the reason why I was always there. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? With him. So it was just me and him. Then my little brother came and, you know, I'm, we taking care of him. And I got another brother who's autistic. Mm -hmm. Man. He's autistic, like at the highest level. Yeah. Wow. Can't talk, can't nothing. Don't understand, you know. How old is he? He's um, what doc? By by thirty. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. so so he he's he. You know what I'm saying? So we, me and my up, me and my older brother, we always had to take care of him. Mm -hmm. Wow. We used to be at home every day by ourselves, taking care of him. And so that's what that's what he. Then we had a little brother, so a younger, another younger brother, and we had to. You know what I'm saying? We had to, man, it's, it's, it's a That's lot. That's a dope man. thing, though, man, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it, build it builds strength. It, it does. It does. And, and, and it for does. you and your brother yeah. to have to do that together, I know it brought y'all yeah. closer yeah. together yeah. Yeah. as yeah. well. So. Every every single day, that's what we did. I used to have to run home from school. I used to get out of school with J.J. Rose at 3 o'clock. His bus, his bus used to be there like 310, 312. If you miss his bus, they take him back to the school, and oh, he stayed to the night. Nobody can get him. I used to get out of school and run home. Go help get it. And have to get them off the bus every single day. Fifth, wow. my fifth and sixth grade year, every single day. That teaches that that teaches discipline. some structure and discipline. Hey bro. man, hey man, that's why I'm sitting here. Wow. But <laughs> hold on, but before you get into anything else, I gotta ask this question. So when your sister told you all the stuff that right. um about your mom and stuff like right. that, did that touch your heart where you actually felt like some sort of forgiveness for I, her? I have forgiveness in my heart now. Like I, me and mom, this the first. But I'm even talking at that point because I yes, would think that yes, you know this, this, that would. But, but it had to also so grow on me. You know what I'm saying? This the first time in my life that me and my mama actually have like like dialogue. Like we text, we talk. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This the first time other than I could, that I can remember in my life that we actually talk about different stuff because I have forgave her mm. for whatever whatever reasons it is. I'm not even going to say this that whatever reasons it was. Mm. Maybe she was uncomfortable by some who knows. I don't care like at this point I don't care no more. Mm -hmm. I just forgive my mother, and that's my mother. I respect and love her. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Man, you know, um, listen, man, it's an extraordinary thing to be able to speak on things because it's, it's actually – it's therapy and talking about it is. different stuff it that is. you've been yeah. through. And a lot of times you don't have that opportunity till you get to platforms like yeah. this. And I don't think people understand or give it is just do mm -hmm. that, that it, it does help to talk about what we've been through, you know, not mm -hmm. only to talk about it, openly talking about it is yeah. even more yeah. powerful. I yeah, Cause I have never talked about yeah. it on anybody <laughs> platform. Ever. Yeah. I think that's, you know different, that's the difference between us and everybody yeah. else's yeah. platform. Yeah. Right. I think right. that's what makes us different. That's why people are like, man, I love boss talk mm -hmm. because it'd be a real organic conversation about real life yeah. situations. Yeah, Cause I want to get to know you. I want to get to know what you went through. I want to know what builds your character yeah. into who yeah. you and are. That, that, that's it. You know that's, what I that's mean? What, that's what done it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what done it. So with wow. your father being in from the Navy and stuff like yeah. that and you hanging out with your brothers, you never got in trouble then. Because you said you were bad we, while we, you, we, you we, went yeah, over I, I stayed in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like I, where, where I come from, some worse than others. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was, I was always in trouble. But my father, he was... Okay, that story, my father was young too. So he was still trying to live his life and do what he do. So my relationship was with my stepmother. Okay. It really wasn't with my father. Mm. So she was the one that bond was the glue in that in that situation. She the one that kept me there, that kept me level headed. That kept because not even because she wasn't strict, she wasn't stern, but she was just so sweet and nice and and forgiving that you didn't want to hurt her. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like because I always had I don't know I guess God bless me. I always had in my mind that I could never mess over her because she don't have to do what she doing. So every time I got in trouble, I feel bad. Just like, damn, like this lady dealing with me and she don't got to do this. So that helped me a lot in life, too. Like that helped me to never hurt her. You know what I'm saying? Do you put those stories in your songs? I do. I got some songs that, you know what I'm saying? I talk about it. We about to get into the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> man, you know, um, that was a good segue right there. <laughs> Listen, man, one of your biggest songs caught me a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Half paint? Did he? Did he? I know he put it on his platform. He shot did the he video. Shot the yeah, video? Half paint shot the video. Okay, let's yeah. talk about that for a minute. Yeah. Uh, 
Did you think that song would? Did you think it would be that big? Honestly, when I first when I first finished the song, I did. Wow. Yeah. Man, you see how see boss talk. This ain't nothing to play with. Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. We finna go down through there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that nigga eat yeah. bad. That nigga, <laughs> damn, I hate that nigga. That nigga ain't from Dallas. <laughs> 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 no, because I love my people, yeah, man. Yeah, I love yeah, music. Yeah. That's why your ass was in here that day. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. music. And, 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 and that was my first sci-fi ever done. But I love music. Yeah. So right that we're going to get you in the door alone. Yeah. Music, really. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, you know, like when you did that song, yeah. you write. Sometimes. It depends. Did you write that song? Nah. So you, you, you what, you punched in? I punch, I punch in, but but my brother know I got a process. I got a crazy process where I listen to a beat a million times. Okay. So my brother being there with me, he say, bro, I have to get out of her. It's like torture. Wow. Because I replay the beat over and over and over and over and over again because wow. I'm memorizing stuff in my head. Yeah. So that's why I don't smoke a drink. Yeah, like me. Huh? You see what I'm saying? Clear as the wood. So I need my mind. Yeah. That's the only thing we got, E. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. So I use my mind for my raps. I memorize rhymes all day. I got rap to myself all day. So yeah. when I go in there, it's not a, I wouldn't call it freestyle. It's not freestyle. Just memorizing rhymes in my head yeah, that yeah. I worked on all day. I like that process. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real. It's real. And, and, and most people be like, man, I just went in there and spit it. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. That's so that, real that, what you just said. It's almost like it's impossible to create what I create. I'm not going to say it's impossible because I can freestyle all day. Yeah. But what the music that I create, like the breakdown, the strategies, the schemes, it's impossible for me to do that. Bro, I ain't going to mm -hmm. lie to you. Trill Talk, no pill talk. Shout out. He sent me some questions for you, too. Yeah. Um, just uh, he love he love what That's you do. That's my guy to he, shout out, man. Man, shout he, he love real. what you do. He <laughs> posts you all the time. Yeah. He shouted you out here. Tripped me out that day when we was talking about who the hardest, and I went off about Puka that day. <laughs> yeah. Nigga Puka the hardest. And yeah. That nigga say, Nah, man. He say, Yeah, seven the great though. You know, but then I was I, we were just going back yeah, and forth. You remember back, that yeah, day? I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, like yeah, you yeah. know I, I would have said you nigga, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you <are. laughs> nah, it yeah, wasn't even nah, like nah, that. Nah, nah, it it wasn't enough time to be like that. Hey, one thing I know about you, you telling your troops, man. You ain't gonna lie. You ain't. I don't think it was that, man. I really don't think it was that. But anyway, we were going back and forth, but. It really and and that's that's another thing I have to get people to understand. Those conversation keeps everybody understanding do, who we man. got in Dallas. It do, man. man. It do, man. And that's what it I do. think people be sleeping on. We need those conversations to happen to keep people. Named that's your alive. that's your duty. Yeah. At the at the position and at the position and where you at and where you and your wife have took this. That's y'all duty, bro. To, yeah. To let people outside is know who doing their thing. Yeah. And yeah. I get disappointed with gatekeepers about that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because they going I only think they not doing proper research on who doing what. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. just they basically just listening to the names that everybody else saying. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Oh, who hot? Um, so and so, so and so, so. They not they not doing their research and knowing who really hot. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was selling out shows, Hassle Blues, like running my own shows and selling them out. Wow. Wow, so you book, self booking, self booking. Not one time did I see any of these platforms saying I was hot. Five hundred people every show. Wow, my tickets, hard tickets, hard tickets. Like renting out the venue, House of Blues, Dallas, and doing my own shows. I just seen Show say something like that too. Show was like he he was. I seen him on some block. Like, do yeah. you know Show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show big was homie. like yeah. big homie. Show yeah. he comes on here too. Yeah. He been on here a few times. Shout out to be. Big homie show, shout yeah. out to Phase on Love and my people. Like, but the thing is, do you think people, why do you think that is that people overlook people who doing their thing at a time when they're doing their thing in the city that they're doing it in? I just think these niggas is lazy. <laughs> Simple as that. They not, man, these niggas, ain't in, these niggas ain't in the record crates, man. These niggas ain't in the record crates looking for it. They is on top of it, you know what I'm saying? Getting the first record that's on top and putting it in. Yeah, yeah. That's why every time it's repeated the same people. Who you think how um so and so so and so? They gonna say exactly what the next man said. Yeah. Cause they not doing the research on who really doing their thing in the city. That's hard. I like that because that's a that's a real that's that's a real way of looking yeah, at it. Yeah, for real. Especially because when you think about it. It is a lot of time where you hear those ta those names repetitiously. Uh -huh. Right now, that name is Big Extra Plug. Big Extra Plug, and that's all you are here. Zinner, though, you know, yeah, what I'm saying? Zinner, 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 Zinner,
Zillionaire Doe is from South Dallas. From South Dallas, yeah, for loose. Have you ever talked with him? Or? We, we have talked through Messenger, but you know what I'm saying? Like, all his people, like, is my people. I okay. literally grew up with them. Like, we've been known since we was kids. From Spoon to JJ, you know what I'm saying? Drop, I'll call all these people. These are my people. Yeah. And so, you know, we, you know, we're on, the, on some gang stuff, you know, the crib, all that. So, it's tied in that way, too. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So so, um, we, me and him have had conversations through Messenger. You know, he done told me how much he rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. You know, so real humble. Young dude, you know what I'm saying? With respect, and I wish him the best. Do you do you um do you like his music? I like it. I like his music. You know what I'm saying? Because it's his style of music, and I think I don't think I don't think there is no such thing as bad music because music is an expression. Mm -hmm. It's an expression. I can't tell you, bro, your shit whack. Mm -hmm. Who, you know what I'm saying? Like because that's coming from your heart. I don't care. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like shit, nigga. If it worked. If it works for you, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I listen. That's why I listen to everybody. Wow. When when I go back and I look at like still tipping when you redone that, you, know, you yeah. called a lot of people out on that. Yeah. yeah you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. What was that vibe like? Why did you do that song in the way that you did it? See, the, the, I know like when I mentioned the Cotton Mouth Jesse, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So I did shout a, out um, to Cotton Mouth yeah, Jesse. Shout out to Cotton Mouth. And um, I did a um, I did a um, I did a. Like a like a, I don't know if it was like a spoken word for the city one time right okay. I, where it was no music no just kind of like an acapella and it went like viral wow like, as far as like like millions of views and so um in this stuff I was saying in that and and um Cottonmouth he came on the on like the post that okay. people because it's going crazy it's going crazy like out there out there out there so and, and he came in the comments like not true and you know just speaking his claim of how he felt like. Oh, this ain't this. That nigga just talk. Oh, did nah, Dallas ain't this. So, and my thing, just being the big homie in the city, him, I'm like, bro, whatever you felt, you could have reached out to me. And we 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 got mutual people. Like he was with the rally boys. Like my my partners, E and Young Odium. Like, oh, do you probably know them niggas? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was big part of the rally boys. And these are my people, like my OGs. You know what I'm saying? So, and and I'm just like, damn, bro. Before you did that. You know what I'm saying? You could have reached out to me. Side out. You got, Come on, you got bro. a lot of respect for him, you know, too. I we got respect for you and I would have and I would have heard your opinion. Like, that's what's up, bro. Like, maybe I was wrong on so who knows? But yeah. I'm just saying, like, why wait till it start getting views and likes and comments and try to come in and win and piggyback off me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That make Dallas look like Dallas, bro. Did you guys ever get together? We have week? never talked. Y'all never talked? Never talked. I just talked to him about yeah, we never, what was I we at the last never trip? Talked. In L.A.? I might have been in L.A. or Atlanta, and I talked to him for yeah. about, I was in the in the front of the thing, and I talked to him. Nah, he, we never he, talked. He, he just like you passionate about Dallas. Yeah, most That's definitely. all most it definitely. is. Y'all niggas just but over, it's bigger though, overly it? passionate yeah, it's, about, it's, you know it's what I mean? bigger. Y'all done had something like we talking back to Cotton Vibe. We had Cotton Vibe. That song charted nationally. Yeah, that was the number. Big. That was the that was the number seventeen song in the country at one point. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? So it's bigger than Dallas. I just carry, I just carry it with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm way past that. But I know dudes like that. I have like if you heard my music, I tell nigga I'm still texting for what they did to DSR and Nemesis. Yeah, I heard that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm carrying this shit. So I don't. I respect his opinion. I respect. I respect what he got to say. You didn't have to do that. I looked at that like a sucker move. That's yeah, just how yeah, I looked yeah. at that. Yeah, and and the one thing about it, like I said. It's, you guys have been here. Yeah. So you yeah. guys, we got to do better when it comes to getting together, mm -hmm. talking to each mm -hmm. other. We men. Like I told you when I talked to you on the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's the difference. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you, bro, yeah, because I know the devil. I'm, I'm fighting yeah. a spiritual warfare, yeah. man. Yeah. I talk to everybody about this thing, and I ain't going to say the name, but big names in, in, the, yeah. in the industry all over yeah. the U U.S. right now. Mm -hmm. Big stuff that's going on. Some of the stuff that you're seeing that everybody's seeing, and I'm yeah. telling them, man, this is spiritual warfare, bro. Mm -hmm. You go, what you going to, you getting on this internet saying this or that, or you doing this that way, can cause a, a a whole bunch of people havoc and yourself, mm -hmm. you know, internally. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta learn how to how to open up and be like I told you my daddy would do. Hey man, come here, let me holler at you around the corner. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. come here, man. Hey man, mm -hmm. let's talk, mm -hmm. you know, talk it out without nobody around. Yeah. Boots on the ground when the camera's not around. Nah, for real. You see yeah. what I'm saying? For real. For Cause real. sometimes our, our ego can be our worst amigo, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. just take a, a conversation. And I'm gonna always give it to you. Nah, straight up. You know what I'm what saying? What I tell you on the phone, I say <laughs> every person, every person needs somebody like you in their corner. Yeah. And I just yeah. was saying that because everybody who know me know I don't talk to people on the phone for no hour. <laughs> 
nigga, you stay on the phone for an hour. <laughs> they ain't even realize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hour plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah we was and on I'm, that and thing. And I'm steady telling you, like, E, this what every nigga need, especially young nigga. You don't yeah, say, like, yeah, somebody yeah, in the yeah, yeah. who could tell them the truth. The truth. You know what I mean? If people yeah. tell, hey, bro, they go hard. Hell yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> Like you know that don't work. like tell, tell me, bro. So <laughs> I go, but that's why you will see it just me and my brother because he gonna tell me the he truth. He gonna tell you the truth. He gonna he ain't scared to tell me the truth. He, he know how I am. He gonna take the backlash. Oh, bro, tripping. He still gonna tell me the truth. He gonna though. tell you the truth. And that's, that's what, what love. And that's love. That's love. That's but you don't understand love. that till you get a little you older. Get a little Some older. people can't receive that. Yeah, they can't no, receive no. it. They get yeah. very angry. Yeah. They, get very angry. Angry. they don't want those type of. They want yes people around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you doom for failure. You very much do for failure. That's so real, man. So you uh, did you ever get to meet Nipsey? I seen you did a tribute. I to did, him. I did. I met him too. I, yeah, I, I met him. I, I, I him met him. They, they, um, they had a buy back. They had a buy the block. Um, com, um, um, damn, like an event downtown one time. Wow. And I met him backstage, man. And um, when I saw him, bro, I never forget this in my life. I still got the video on my phone. Okay. When I first seen him, it looked like he was floating. Wow. You know what I'm saying? This is the honest God truth, bro. When I first saw him, it looked like he was floating. I say, man, it's just something. I say, God damn, it's something different about this dude, man. I'm just like, so when I met him, bro, like, you know, we ran the same age. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, but I'm still kind of just like, and I know he's not the biggest artist no, in the world, no, no, no. but man, he had an aura about him, bro, that I have never forgot in my life. So, you know, they telling him backstage, like, nah, Sam got this song called a vibe. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So he actually did a concert. And when he when he walked on stage, he said, "Yeah, man, we finna catch a vibe." Wow! And I know where he love. got it from because when he heard the song, he was like, oh, "He was like, yeah, this hard, bro." He was like, he telling like me, he was it. like, "This yeah. hard, bro." Yeah. He was like, "You push this the right way, you know." He giving game. Yeah. He was like, "You push this the right way and do this." He like, "Bro, this this bitch gonna go." This yeah. Bitch gonna go. Bro. I want to tell you something. <laughs> I love that. See, see, our story's different. When I see yeah. a nigga, I told a nigga he ain't working enough. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm that nigga. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what gave yeah. me the confidence to say, yeah. Yeah. When I met him in Vegas at the Palms Hotel, I tell this story all the time. I say, man, you ain't been working, bro. Mm -hmm. I say, man, where you been, nigga? Mm -hmm. Just like I told you. Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah. and he, we yeah. were by ourselves. It wasn't nobody there. Mm -hmm. We just had to count on me and him. He wasn't nobody with him. Same way when I met Bobby Brown. Same way when I met Machine Gun Kelly. We was by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, he was like, you going to see? You gonna, he didn't yeah. say E. He said, you going to see. Yeah. He, I ain't asked you for no picture, nigga, or nothing. nothing. I'm straight talking yeah. that yeah. talk yeah. like yeah. I do. Yeah. And uh, he's like, you going to see? You going to see? And that was before... The marathon, we start going to his store. Oh, okay, we start, okay, I start going okay, to his store. Okay. I, I start going to see his family. Before mm -hmm, all the balloons okay. at that yeah, store yeah, and dying yeah, and all. Yeah. I've been going there because I'm a black on business. Right, when you met me. Right, I was going to Vegas right. every six months so when you, you met me. It out. I yeah, was going to yeah, see him because yeah. he looked like me. Yeah. And he doing a business. Mm -hmm, and he black. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, and his family worked in. I told my mm -hmm. wife. She went right with me. I was like, with my brother. He was like, man, you got to go by there and check out Nipsey. I'm mm -hmm, like, you know okay, what? He like, he got this little young dude doing stuff with an app. They pull up to the store. We on the Man, and I'm and like, really? Uh -huh. oh, I'm uh -huh. gonna go check the little nigga yeah. out, you know. So <laughs> yeah. and me and Black Sam linked up. I okay. met Black Sam there and told him about the store here and everything, and about I met his brother at the Palms and all that. So I just love to see our people get yeah. to it, bro. Yeah. And that was yeah. before Boss Talk. That wasn't that was around mm, time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 y'all right, left right, 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 I made okay. it up there. Okay. okay. I'm with, even with them pictures was here yeah. when y'all was here. Them pictures uh -huh. were on the walls. Uh -huh. A lot of them same old same pictures. pictures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I just love. Our people trying to do something, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I know we can win. Mm -hmm. And and I didn't see that coming his way, but God had pretty much like he gave me a vision yeah. to see that it was something special about him like he did yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, tapping in because I yeah. love to see our people and trying to And that situation with Nip taught me a lot. There you go. That situation with Nip taught me a lot too. Yeah. About just the hood and the hood growing up in. That taught me a lot. It gave yeah. me a lot. From that one experience, from that one experience. It taught, it taught me a lot, man. It really taught me a lot. It made me open my eyes to a lot of stuff, too. Wow. I mean, when you say it made you open your eyes, just the way that he was doing his business. Just just how you can be. Sometimes you can be too, you, you, you can be too attached to your neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the, the hood, this is what I figured out. The hood is for you to get it and go. Not get it and go and act funny and act Hollywood. No, nah, get it and go. You can always come back and do stuff for the community, but this is this is just a this is just a level of your life. It's a level that you get to and you on to the next level. And we have we so we so prideful and our ego so messed up, so fucked up. We nigga, I go, I ain't never leaving the hood. 
But it's not the same love because you got to think about all these people who are around you who saw you every day and say, if this nigga can do it, I could do it. Or if he doing it, why I ain't doing it? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't look no different. Like, I see Nipsey as, like, I saw him like a floating as a guy. You think niggas in his hood see that? Mm. They don't give a damn about that. You know what I'm saying? Because they saw him every day and grew up with him. So they feel like they just like him. Nah, nigga, you not like me. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I look at that situation because I'm a store owner. Yeah. And I look at it like, you know, the dude that did that, a lot of people try to add antics to it and all that. Right, but right. it really, to me, was just a simple uh, thing of envy and jealousy. And, this, and I'm going to be this real. Saying, when he man. walked out and he's sitting in front of that store and he's just sitting there and a dude come just like people come here. I had dudes yeah, come out yeah. the cliff check cash in or whatever. And my kids, my kids grew up in this store too. Uh-huh. And they'll say something fly. My kids out here handing out uh, uh, perfume. Hey, yeah, oils, yeah, man. We yeah. buy all, and I ain't coming in that store. I don't mess with that nigga. Mm-hmm. And you might be talking to one of my kids or something. Uh-huh. And I can handle that in a way. Uh, nigga, I got the strap. and I, Whatever. Nigga, yeah. I could be in here yeah, tripping yeah, like that. Yeah. Or I could say, hey, you know, something to him. I could say something simple to him. But because I'm mm-hmm. a business owner and you see all this going on, you're going to take it a lot different than you would from a regular dude. That y'all, yeah. So you yeah. got to be careful on the way you deliver. Even me, when I talk you, it's who you are. And when you say something, you do, man. Uh, even rain, mm-hmm. when you say something, mm-hmm. it's so impactful mm-hmm. that because people looking at the, okay, you on this level, a yeah. lot of people looking yeah. at you are, nigga, you think you better than me already. That's the thing. And that's, that's when it, that's when that's it goes it. to the next level that's with it. the argument. Because you're always bigger than what you think you are. There you go. You know what I'm saying? When they look at you and see you on these videos and it's, they don't know you ain't fucking making no money. That's right. That's they right. They don't know. They don't know. They, they think, think you got oh, it. This nigga, this nigga just had a video get viral. He don't make a dime. Make a no, dime that's, for a viral video. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. when they see it, but in their eyes, you bigger. So now you acting funny. Now niggas you grew up with, people who been knowing you. They ain't did enough for me. Wow. Damn, nigga, but I never get. I'm, 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 I'm now that now the hate becomes so strong to run. Nigga, kill you, man, in your own neighborhood. You know how scary that is. That's scary, that's scary man. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. The but, most comfortable place that you can be in. That was the most comfortable place to me in my life. That was the most comfortable place. When it's all over, basketball game, leave somewhere, go to some. I come to my hood. I come to Dixon and just enjoy. It. Yeah. I can't even really chill no more because it's so much pressure on me. Yeah. Hey, bro, take me to the studio. Hey, bro, do, 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 Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Hey, hey, bro, let me holler. Let me hold something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? And that's, and that's, and people don't understand that, that pressure that be on you, bro. And it's just, it's, it's, it's sad because you want, you want that forever. Yeah. And you want to see everybody win and that, that came up under you, that supported you. But it's impossible, eh? No, it's definitely impossible. It's impossible to help everybody. You can't. But <laughs> you then at the end of the day, you still, you just got to pray for them and keep it moving. Hey, my man, brother. simple as that. Yeah, but my, I want to ask you, though, yeah. um, like, let's talk about the elephant in the room right okay. quick okay. before I forget about it. Um, Rain came on here. This okay. is why they say boss talk messy. This is it right here. <laughs> I'm at the boss talk messy state now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rain came on here. Uh, and that was about how long ago when they did that first cipher. I think that was, yeah, that was the first Yeah, ago. that was the first yeah. cipher. And yeah. I brought it up. I brought the cipher up showing you know me. I'm gonna bring it up because yeah. I'm gonna show love. Yeah. You're showing I'm, love. I'm talking the word. You niggas really just clipped a little bit out of it. I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. But boss talk said some stuff yeah, in there. Yeah. I said that ain't all of it. Yeah. They clipping, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Not you, but I'm just yeah. saying. And, and, and shout out, shout out to that boy Trill Talk No Pill Talk again. Yeah. That went out. Shout out to that boy Trill Talk No That's Pill Talk again. Working. You know, yeah. uh, um, yeah, he, he, he we talk a lot. He like, yeah. man, that clip coming. I said, That's yeah. cool, man. Go on and do it, you know, get to it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it was like like when I dropped that that clip of that video, I never even thought about he called y'all the big three. Right. right My right. ass is not thinking about thinking. no big yeah, three. Yeah. And if I I'm gonna be honest with you. I laugh, but I'm telling you, in my mind, it wasn't nothing. Yeah, I'm yeah. being real. It you was just, way more bigger. You just laughing at him because mold. he a fool. Yeah. That nigga had me yeah. laughing. Yeah. So, yeah. And when yeah. I talk yeah. to him, like, this nigga funny as hell, to yeah. be honest with you, because yeah. of the way he calculating what he's saying. So when he said that, I didn't even get, I got a call, of course. I got a right. few calls. Right. But right. Right. at any rate, <laughs> right. any rate, when I put it out, I still didn't even, I didn't even clip it for that. Yeah. I just put some shit just out, you know, and other people And it did what it did. Yeah, so... When you when did you first hear he said that y'all was the big three? I saw it when I saw it on I forgot what blog I saw it on. 
And I saw it just going down my timeline one day. I was like, damn, like, okay. And I didn't take it personal. I just knew it was an opportunity. Okay. That's how I look okay. at this shit. That's how You know what I'm saying? I just saw the opportunity in it. Like, Ryan ain't done shit to me. Yeah, but when he said it, basically he was saying, oh, no, no, don't worry about that. And the thing and he says yeah, most yeah, often yeah. is that he has a deal with the older rappers. Right, he feel right. like the older rappers need to get out the way. Need to get out the yeah, way. You've yeah, heard him yeah, say yeah, it yeah, on yeah. here. So yeah. what, um, when you think about him, basically, what do you think about that statement? Not even him. Do you feel, how do you feel about the older rappers as Man, people this evolve? this shit go on forever. We the only genre of music that put an age cap on our, on our, on our music and who we are. Country singers go to 70. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bobby Streisand, they still doing Vegas and shit. You know what I'm saying? We the only genre that do that. Long as you are older rapper, you are not making a fool out of yourself. The music living you forever, bro. We all come from music backgrounds. So why do you need to stop rapping because you're older? I still, Jay say the boys don't struggle when the struggle don't stop. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So forever, I, every day my life elevating and giving me something to talk about, giving me something to rap about. And Rain, I just think, I think Rain is the, he's the 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 the, the Dallas the prop the the problem in Dallas. Okay. These niggas are so one track minded, bro. And I'm just being honest with you. They so one track minded to one they only see things one way. And if it's their way, that they agree on it. See, these niggas want, these niggas want Tim Duncan to play like Michael Jordan. Yeah. He they want Shaq to play like Steph Curry. You see what I'm saying? No, I got you. I got you. They want Shaq to play like Steph Curry. It's more than one way to skin a cat, man. It, man, everybody can't be Mo three brother. That's a wow. once in a generation player, man. Everybody yeah. can't be Mo three. Look wow. at seven. Look at so and so, so and so. Take their strengths and build off their strengths. The nigga so one trade minded. He thinking you only do it this way. It's the only way you do it, and it's how you blow up. That's wrong, bro. Wow. Do you think that, you know, with the success of, of Mo3, what they did was, uh, it, it was different. It was. It was different. But it was for them. It's not, and it's never going to be duplicated. Eh? Yeah. It's you got to figure out if, 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 and this is another problem. If you can do that with him, do it with somebody else. Stop being so hurt, my nigga, about what happened and he's no longer, everybody hurt. Stop being so hurt. And and in your feelings and envious of the next people who coming up or who came or whatever and giving up to the city because again it's your duty to for rain and this is what this what really ran me hot about it it's your duty to say oh yeah I saw that cipher them niggas went off everybody in the country everybody in the world watch boss talk e yeah and yeah. he's a face a big face one of the main faces in our city so when they see that it's like ah oh, now you down playing what Puka doing. Yeah. When you can just big up it and bring more light to it and shed more light to it. But what about the fact that what if he really don't like it or he's not that's, into it? That's cool too, E, but at the same time, don't down don't down talk the next man, cause the next man not down talking you. Like I have never said nothing about him. Puka never said nothing about him. Certain people never and I'm not saying you don't go against them. That's cool, bro. But at the same time, even if you don't like it, why not build it up? Am I wrong for asking about it? You're not that wrong. Real. I'm trying to. You, e, you, was you a, see what I'm saying? You was a fan <laughs> of it though. Yeah, you, yeah, cause you I, fuck I, you with it. Like. No, because I know the people in it. Come on so now. I'm come basically now. saying these niggas doing something. We in say, Dallas. Come on, I man. Gotta, come on, I gotta man. say it. Say, come on, on man. On this platform. Come on, man. In Dallas. Come on, man. You know, I got a call from my nigga, one of my, shout out to Smoke. He was like, man, E, you ain't even posted the uh, the big, the, 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 uh, the, the cypher. It's big. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a big. I say, nigga. Man, I posted that as soon as it came out, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not no damn blogger, nigga. Yeah. I just, I do interviews. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's my nigga. So he gonna, he yeah. called me. He gonna call he like, yeah, yeah, that's that's Puka and yeah. big cousin. Okay. You know, he, he, he the one reason I know okay. Mike and Puka. Okay. And he like, E, man, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't posted, man. Yeah. I say, nigga, yeah. I say, nigga, I posted that a long time ago on my Instagram. Right, right. But I don't post it on my YouTube because oh, you at the right, end of the right, day, right. I talked about it, nigga. I you see, the, the you numbers see is zero. Yeah, 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 so I'm going to yeah, bring yeah, value to it some yeah, kind of yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I might not post it in that way. But when yeah. I bring it up on here, that's yeah. me posting right. it, really. And I, in, I, in a big way. And I just look at it like this. Niggas got so, niggas' characteristics be so different. 
Because this is just a prime example. I'm going to use it for example. You can get Bebe in the same seat, right? Okay. And say, hey, man, you seen that cypher? He had probably never even looked at it. He gonna he say, never seen I'm it? saying, no, I'm oh. just saying, he'll probably, he probably haven't saw the cypher. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, he yeah. probably never saw. You know what that nigga say? What this because I know him. Oh, yeah, them niggas went hard. That's hard. And he probably never looked at it, he. Just because he going to big it up. That's just what he going to do, he. So you got to, you, you think Bebe is going to pretty much represent it the right way. Why Every not? Time. Why not? When, 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 we, when we doing just what your wife said, bringing people together, bringing artists together. These artists who never saw each other, never met each other. Wow. And we bringing the city together. Why not big up it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, I definitely get yeah, it. I, I get yeah. it. I think that. And that's something I think not just Bebe, but even even uh, uh, my boy uh, Jay Cruz or yeah, any of them. I just use Bebe as an yeah, example, yeah, man. I'm them, saying I like it's a bunch of them. them Mr. BC, hit that. It's a hit that BC Southern Fried Marketing. Bang. That damn BC. Hey man, they gonna give it up. They yeah, gonna give yeah. it up. Chaotic ninety seven. That's my guy. Yeah, like, yeah. These people is gonna ride with it just because. Yeah, because it's bringing people of together. Pos- of the positive energy that's running through the city. Well, and, why, and why did Rain not do that? And that's all I'm saying. E, that's all I'm saying. Shout out to Rain. That's all with that book. E, that's all. So I had, I had, I had to get so him. So you get on the route. This not this last one. <laughs> Wait a minute. You get. On, I'm looking at. It. I get a call about this song. Yeah. And I'm like. They said something about the out of town nigga man that they bitch and boss talk. I said what, <laughs> nigga? I can't believe this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I really, I got calls about that, and uh, okay. then they say, no, nah, he talked about rain on there. I didn't even hear your point. Okay, yet. okay. They say he talked about rain on there. He said rainwater, and your, I guess it's from your interview. So it started getting closer to me yeah. now. I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah. So then I say, okay, and then you posted, and you like, get me on there now. No, nah, nigga, you ain't getting on there like that. <laughs> your ass know me, and you go way back. Further than that, that shit ain't no get you on there. You must really know. No, but what I the only thing you know, when y'all talking about rainwater and stuff like that, the only thing that I think about rainwater, the type of person, yes, he does things purposely and he 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 strategically does it. I agree, but at the same time, he does it for two reasons. I would think this is me assuming. I don't know. Yes, he do it for sometimes the mess, but he do it because. Like, if I give you a compliment and say, man, you go hard. Yeah. You need to get back in the booth. Go hard. Da, da, da. Be like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get in there. And you don't get in there. Yeah. But if I say something that's going to make you mad, you're going to get up and get in yeah, there quicker. You're going to do your best shit. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Because yeah. you're mad. You can get. Mm-hmm. So he does stuff to get people mad so yeah. they can get up keep and for going. The, yeah. keep going. Yeah. And yes, people don't like it. Mm-hmm. but It's he, needed, though. Yeah. It's needed. It's, it's a it's balance. Needed. It's needed. Because yeah, he get on the people's needed. skin and he yeah. makes them get up and move. Yeah, and ain't nothing wrong with that. And that's why with me, that's why it's not personal. I ain't got, a, I ain't got on nothing and said, fuck rainwater, bitch. It's not personal with me. And that's why on the cypher, I did what I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you got on the cypher, though. Right. Boy, let me tell you something, boy. I, I watched that end part. You know, you all on the basketball court. You yeah. just going to take it all the way there. Big three. The whole, the <laughs> whole rap was the scheme of basketball. Because Since he said big three, I went whole basketball. Wow. And and when you did that, it, it, it you was like, I got it on my mind. We finna get all the way in. That's what we're doing. That's so, what we're doing. So so basically, what give me some of that rhyme that you did on I'm that. like I'm like Jordan in the D. You know the city got me. Handle shit like Kyrie, G O A T. Shit ain't been the same since they shot three. So you understand Ooh. that? Shot three. Like shot three, <laughs> shot three. So everything, you know what I'm saying? I travel. I travel. It's a Louis V carry on. My brother with me on the block strong. He a sharpshooter. He pulled from deep like a baritone. Step back. Please leave me alone. So everything was basketball. Just because big three. I played out for that. So this is what I'm saying. I'm strategic too. And I thank you, Rainwater. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs> no, but at the end of the day, it's it's like it's like iron sharp and iron man, to be honest. Come on, man. This come on, man. game is something come else, on, man. man. Come and on, I'll man. be honest with you, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of times, you know, it brings the best out of you too. Hey, come or on, give man. you a chance come to get on, out man. there and do your come stuff. Some, you know? This the opportunity some of us wait on, we whether negative or the positive, bro. That's real. And I done been like again, y'all heard some of my story. I done been too down too much, bro, to take this shit personal. No, no, you got the right way and of I looking at it. 
yeah. off of it too, man, and make my and let me make my men's, let me make my ends meet off of it too. That's real. You know That's what I'm real. saying? Without being disrespectful no, or, at the end of the or day, having some on my shoulders about something. Well, you know, for him to say what he said, that was opinionated and that was subjective. That's cool. So he can do that. Yeah. And at the end of yeah. the day, I think a lot of times, you know, it is opportunity mm -hmm. in there. <clears throat> but you, you know, you are one that has a catalog and have done some great things right, right. in music. You right. know what I mean? Right. So I really think that, in my opinion, I think you guys, when it comes to the internet, are not working enough. Right. I think you guys are not Most giving different. us enough. I agree. I agree. You're not I opening agree the you. doors like you should. Not musically. Not, not musically. Not, when I say musically uh -huh. and strategically when it comes yeah. to what's going on and in building. Going on. Yeah. Building a platform in a way to where I, your people that watch you, see, you're supposed to evolve and elevate mm -hmm. when it comes down to the way things are moving. Wait, the way the technology yeah. goes yeah. and everything else. Uh -huh. So right. at the end of the day, yeah. you guys have to give us more so that, and when I say us, I'm talking about as fans. Right, right, right. When you go to that studio, I tell everybody about it is when you go into that studio what you doing at that studio yeah. uh, what's your content uh, where, where like where you at where yeah. you, oh, you, oh you pulled up in Dixon today yeah. let yeah. me know nigga yeah. where you at over there yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know because yeah. used to you'd have to wait on the radio or somebody to put mm -hmm. that 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 uh, the radio station or just people that's out with the mixtape uh -huh. the, the video uh -huh. tape uh -huh. or uh -huh. something but no you got this phone now, now. You're in control of your own you network. got this phone yeah. now yeah. so yeah. therefore there should be more of what you do yeah. out there so people mm -hmm. can be really big fans and be intrigued by what they see Most in your life, hundred percent agree. You see what I'm saying? That's all agree. I know that for yeah, a fact. Yeah, and, and that's, that's, the, that's the that's the that's the world that we in today. That's exactly right. Because like, just say, me and you talking about the basketball scheme. This is what I know as an artist. No one cares about that. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I know what got the attention because I said something to Rainwall at the end. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, but so it has to all going. It has to all coincide to where they see the. Controversy and be like, oh, that nigga. But then when they go back and hear the music, they like, oh, you heard what he did? See, that's second now. It used to be first. Your talent used to be first. Now the entertainment and what you doing, yeah. that leads them back to the music. You has the I, I call it, you have to find a vehicle to lead to drive them back to your music. I think that's true. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of artists haven't figured that out yet, even including myself, yeah. just figuring this out now. What's your vehicle to take them back to your music? That's right. You know what I'm that's saying? That's right. It's not music no more. It's not. And I think I, I think that's something that I realized a long time ago. And I and I try to do things in ways to make people see the music. Right. You'll see that when right. this comes out. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna always bring it back to the music because mm -hmm. that's what I love. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what okay, when you look at just the whole your whole brand, the next quarter. Cause this is what ma what matters to me. Right, right. You you right. got you're gonna have a lot of people looking at you, trying to figure out who you are. You on right, Boss Talk right, One Hundred and One. Right, right. What are you gonna do to leverage? What what will we see coming out this, in the next? This yeah. doing this more. Thank God. Doing this because I, I I never been big on interviews. I never been big on personality. I never been big on inter the entertainment part of the game because. I'm just being honest. I always thought my talent was going to carry it. Yeah. And that's so further from the truth, truth that, yeah. that uh, as an artist, you have to wake up and understand it. You know what I'm saying? So doing more of this of like, like me telling my story, yeah. I can get, listen, I can guarantee you the stuff I told y'all, it's probably some stuff my brother didn't know. No, and, and, and this how deep it is. I'm talking about my blood brother. Me just talking to y'all now. He probably heard something that he never heard before. One thing I can say when we interviewed Bun B, mm -hmm. his wife Queenie, when shout out to Queenie Bun B, yeah. she say when we was getting ready to end the interview and we was walking out, she say, "I never knew that some of the things y'all said, what Bun B told y'all, I how, never this how knew that." This how private people like yeah. This how private we are. You know what I'm saying? We don't put our problems on other people. You know what I'm saying? We deal with our emotions, which is not always a good thing. thing you know what I'm saying? Right. Because you have to talk to people. So, you know what I'm saying? At, 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 the, at, the end of, at the end of the day, this is what I have to do more. That's, this, I agree with that this. 100%. And if I do this more, I feel like everything else is going to start spiraling and coming you see up. See what I'm saying? Yeah, because, yeah. and that's so true because the more people go and look for you, they're going to listen to Come your on, music. Man. They're going to go man. find all yeah. your music. Yeah. But if you're not reconnecting with them, how do you expect them to go people, and find people, your music? People, people, people buy you. They buy into you. They don't buy into your music no more. That's right. They buy into you. They don't stand in long lines at your concert because your music good. They love you as a person. 
They like you. They like I like what that nigga stand on. That's mm-hmm. real. That's how they. That's how they rock with you. That's I know that. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. You know it before everybody. You know what I'm saying? He knew it before everybody. Yeah. 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 But that's the blessing of social media because before social media, you only buying the artists because yeah. that's all you knew was the music and yeah, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You didn't know. And even when people used to go and advertise their new album or whatever at the radio station, you got to think about a radio station only acts certain things because mm-hmm. it only have this small amount of time to, to do it to do uh-huh. it in. But that's why I love podcasts. Pod, Podcasting, we can get really in depth, yeah. especially when we're individually owned like we are. We mm-hmm. can ask you whatever, whatever. we want. Uh-huh. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And you can really get your message out the yeah. way it's supposed to be. How did you end up linking with Puka Leroy anyway? Say, man, so me and Puka been rocking for a minute. Okay. And uh, we did we did crazy about the same time when I came here, man. Puka actually did a song together. Really? And so Puka got on a the song. Then he was like, bro, we the Jay-Z and Nas of the city. And so that's what he said at the beginning of the you song. You know you met me before Puka. I, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So, so, and I'm saying like right after that, we done like pr- probably done the song then. Wow. So we never, you know what I'm saying? We never just, you know, just, it was just a mutual respect. respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, bro. Cause I saw him do his thing. Like literally. And I never hated just look like, okay, bro. Like that's what's up. And so I had a time where I took off real hard and he always showed love, bro. Yeah, like he never had a hating bone, never had a slot come in, never had a, you know what I'm saying? He's sure. too cool to have a slot. And that's what I'm saying, bro. And, cool and, 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 I, and, I, and I always yeah. appreciate, I always appreciate that, even when he done the cipher. You know what I'm saying? He, I'm the first. Was he cool? I'm the first person he caught. But he was cool though. every single time. But he had them loud ass colors on, didn't he? Say, he gonna do he that. He was banging them colors <laughs> on say, your say, ass. Say, say. <laughs> but but I think I think what I'm learning about him too, like don't don't take, don't take his kinds for weakness. Oh no no, the nigga gonna get it off his chest. Oh yeah, one thing I can tell <laughs> you about. Saying? I told Puka a long out, time ago. We got that's real. why he gonna be on here. But I yeah. always tell him, man, I don't even want to hear no rap. You yeah. dope, y'all niggas yeah. dope. Don't bring yeah. me no rap. I don't want to care about no rap. No nigga, I want to see something else. That's that that's that avenue back to the music you talking about. Because it takes a lot, bro. And I knew it was coming. I seen. Coming, mm-hmm. I knew already the way digital the digital world moves fast, bro. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, Puka and you and all of y'all, it's a, it's a it, you guys are y'all got a cult following. Mm-hmm. There's people wanting to see things from y'all, and you gotta deliver. You gotta. That's deliver. all it yeah. is, bro. You letting them down. Yeah, come on you know now. That's all, saying, that's, saying, that's, that's all I be saying, man. That's all I be saying. What? Okay, and, and we got to get on this too because I met you in Prophecy together. And when I right. talked to Prophecy, right. he said y'all haven't been doing nothing together no more. Yeah. Yeah. What happened with y'all? I just feel like, man, like, and and I, I really want to, I really want to come over here and speak my opinion. You know what I'm saying, yeah. speak my facts. You know what I'm saying. I just felt like, I feel like, I felt this is just my opinion again. I just felt like prophecy. He kind of treated me like he got too big. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, like as far as us working, because prophecy was shooting a lot of my old stuff, and you know what I'm saying. And I don't know if he started working with other people. He felt like you know how I go, like you say. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I done you. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, ain't no damn I say, nigga. That's what happened. You talking about? You say, nigga. No, so, it happened. You so, know. So you know what I'm saying? I just, I just always had kind of had that. You know what I'm saying? But we never had no bad blood or nothing. It's just kind of a, a, a transition that we just. Kind of just stop working, you know what I'm saying? We just stop working. And well, I think, I, I, and, and I think that was kind of what he had said as well, off off camera. Yeah. But definitely no bad word, no bad blood. Yeah. Just basically, you know. And then with him working with a Mo three a lot right, and all right, that right, stuff, right, the beef and stuff right. that was going on, you know, it's a lot of stuff that I was thinking about, like. Yeah. You you had dealings with Yella as well, Yella I, I, and I, I had I had I actually had dealings with both of those. You were dealing with both of with them, both of them. So I was really in the middle because see, me and Yella was cool way before the music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and Yella was cool way before the music. Okay. And so me and Mo Three had a mutual little partner that that grew up under me, grew up under my little brother. Them. Okay. Bubba, he got killed on Dixon. Wow, you know what I'm saying? But how did he die? I guess behind all this, how who knows? Who we knows? don't know. It was just really a hit that they came, shot him up. Nobody don't know. Wow, you know what I'm saying? So we had a mutual that that Bubba used to always try to link me and Mo three up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm just and again, I just come here to tell my truth. I didn't always agree with how Mo three move. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So I, I always kind of bagged up from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't really. You know what I'm that saying? You know how Eminem Ryan rock. It's all controversy. You oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You know they gonna do their thing, and that's and I and I love it, bro. Yeah, and they but get it's, you. But it's not me though. You know what I'm saying? So I always kind of just you know like nah, I don't, you know you know what I'm saying? But me and Yella I always been cool, talked about. Like I was one of the first people to hear that's on me. Really? He pulled up at my house and played it for me. 
You know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, that mic can be big. We talked about it. You know what I'm saying? It is, and it's 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 few things with him that I don't agree with. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? But that's me and everybody. Mo, yeah, but me and Mo three, we just never we had conversations, had talks. You know what I'm saying? Bob, I always try to get we me and Mo got a song together. You okay. know, different stuff. But um, what song was that? Um, this um um damn I, um the plug. Did y'all do a video to it? We didn't do a video. Y'all too. just did the yeah, song. Yeah, we did the song. And um, and so man, you know, it was just a lot of. Conflict like me and Mo three had our nobody know we had our little private battles with each other. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He'll say something like on the record, like yeah, nigga, I come back say my. You know we always through little comp- friendly competition. Yeah, but it never was that relationship. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. We had a few words like Bubba called me, Facetime me, like say hey, nigga, you and nigga, you come on, y'all need to come on. Yeah, y'all need to work. Yeah, and me and Mo we be on like I right, will never. You know what I'm saying? Never did so do it. you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I was always felt like I was in the middle with it. And, but I still I gotta stand on what I stand on. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't make y'all make me pick no side for nobody. Yeah. Y'all can't make me pick no side, nigga. I don't, nigga. I've been running my shit since I was a kid. I ain't never followed no nigga. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, nobody can make me pick a side because you know you got people talking about Roy Lee, Roy this, this, this. That's another thing I was gonna ask you about because you know what it, I'm it, I seen one of your comments that said that uh, Roy Lee. You never even showed yeah, show yeah. love to Roy Lee or either said me and, like, Lee, me and Roy Lee grew up together. I know that, but you it's just certain and, people and, say and stuff. And before Roy Lee passed away, bro, it was it was a major disconnect with us. Okay. Like Roy Lee went on Real Life Street Stars and had some words about me. Really? Yeah, bro. Had some words about me about how, you know what I'm saying, we supposed to be rocking this and that. Nigga don't act like, you know what I'm saying? It, again, this is just a miscommunication. And so... And my take, I'm saying this is a person I grew up with on Dixon, Rolly from Dixon. Yeah. Bro, you can call me. You can call me. And we talk like, I, this is a person I saw every day that was up to my house playing video games. Yeah. Bro, you can call me. You don't got to do this on no platform. And it's very unfortunate because we never, never had a chance to, to get down and have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? I had When I did one of my shows at House of Blue, I had Rolly. He was going to host it. Say, hey, bro, I'm gonna pay you to host this so and so, so and so. The day of the video, the day of the concert, Roy Lee called me, say, nah, bro, I ain't doing. It. I got another thing in Houston. The day of. The day of. Wow. I had to get hit that to do. It. I called, hit that last minute, hit that, done it for me. And it's just like shit like that, bro. That cause these conflicts. Yeah. And then you know we go on there and do that. You know what I'm saying? And so I had done a freestyle, and I was finna, you know, go in, and Roy Lee end up passing away. So yeah. I dropped the freestyles on Sunday. Roy Lee passed away. Like that Thursday or something like that before the freestyle drop. I had to go on the freestyle and change the whole lyrics. Wow, because you didn't want to be looked at. I, I just couldn't. Like, you know how did saying? you feel when that happened? It's hurt. It, it, it hurt it, you, it didn't hurt, it? bro. And then, you know, then, so me and Yellow, me and Yellow and Moneybag, I already had the song done. I remember done. that. Yeah, yeah. We had the song done, and my my, my, my dude who was putting the money, by, see, this shit that people don't know that was putting the money up. When, when the, before the song even came out, nigga, we paid money back, pay, you know what I'm saying? Yellow done it off the strength just because of our relationship. And he at the height of his career. Wow. And it was just like, I didn't want to do it. I'm like, nah, I ain't doing it. I don't know who killed Roy Lee. We don't know. But I'm yeah. just saying speculations of how the game go, the hood politics and all this shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, nah, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. But my, my, my people, he already done put thousands of dollars, dollars mm-hmm. into this, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I owe him that. He doing that for me. He ain't on that fucking song. That's right. He doing that for me. So I went on, shot the video. You know what I'm saying? Just like, fuck it, bro. I got to do it. But I knew I was going to feel backlash from it, from the simple fact of the beef. But that's something that I felt I'm going to just live with. Did you? Did But the song didn't ever get clear. It didn't ever get clear. Why? Because um, I money bagged them in. So they play all type of games in this industry, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if I if I got my if I got my brother, he my manager, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pay you for the feature and the video. And so now my brother can call you and say, hey bro, we need an extra 10. We need an extra 10 so the song could get cleared. Now he's trying to make his money. Yeah. Money bag I already made their money, or the artist per se made their money. So now the manager or the little homeboy, whoever wow. trying to make their money. So I'm just we wasn't budging, bro, because we already spent. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't, you know what I'm saying? It didn't get cleared. Didn't get cleared. It didn't get cleared. And so... How much How much money was they... You Can you disclose how much they was trying to get extra? Man, man, buy, buy the extra 15. Buy the extra 15. And yeah. you don't feel... 
after all this time and the way they went up, do you feel that was the right thing? It was, because you got to stand on there, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all had a solid deal up front. Yeah, we, then we had a single deal behind the song. We had a 250K single deal that was going to be behind the song. Wow. And it's more. It's so much more to that other than it not getting cleared. You got the situation with, you know what I'm saying, yeah, Leroy, Leroy. Leroy. you got all this going on. So, and then... Then my partner who with it, who behind, who spearheading it, he go to the feds. Wow. He in the feds right now. Wow. Mm. This all this happened right before the song. All this is going on. So people think, oh, the song, they didn't even do nothing. Now they don't know this story. They don't know everything. Now, he, the song was finna drop. Or bro, like a Saturday or something. He went to that. The feds picked him up like Friday. like Friday. Wow. wow. That's crazy. And so he get in there and I don't know if he panicked, you know what I'm I don't know what happened. He tried to just put it out. That ruined everything. Wow. Mm. Wow. They took the single deal off the table because the song, like, hey man, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? We doing, we went to New York. We went on the late. We 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 shopped this song to labels. Labels. Columbia, Interscope. Universal. Universal. They picked it up. So we finna roll, like the layout, the everything. We finna roll, bro. And then all this stuff just start unfolding. So I'm a God for a man. I believe in God and I believe in moments. I believe in opportunity. I believe in all this, bro, energy, the universe. So I say, this just ain't for me. Wow. It's not for me, man. I already felt bad about the situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dealing with, like, damn, man, Yella got this song. These people look. I got niggas in my hood talking about me. I got people in my hood defending me because niggas saying slick shit. I nigga got a song with Yella, my nigga. Wow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, it was it was a lot, bro, and that shit was very. And this is what Stressful. I'm saying, man. It was it was amazing to where it 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 really knocked the fight out of me. I was about to yeah. say, did it fall you yeah, in it depression? Did. It, did. Uh, it most definitely did. Just mm -hmm. that situation, you yeah. know what I'm saying? How long did that hold you back for? For a long time, for a long time, because you know, like at the end of the day, all you got is your neighborhood, man. You know what I'm saying? That's these real. the people. These are the first people that I recorded. You know what I'm saying? I took a picture on my bed, bro, and did and put out a mixtape and passed it to my neighborhood. They was the first people to love my music. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And not not this not everybody, but I'm just saying if you hear one person talking, two person people talking, it affects you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you got you have to you feel like you have to stand on something. How did you overcome that though? I just did because I just stopped giving a fuck what people were saying because mm -hmm. they don't know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I just really had to understand that, like, bro, these people don't know what's going on. They don't know nothing. And then it's all speculations. And then even when some people know, I tell people all the time, even when some people do know, they still might not agree with you, but you, you, you got to put I'm it in your head like, like you're and okay I'm, with and it. And I'm, and I'm just be, I'm going to just be real, personal, transparent. Like, if y'all saying Yellow Beezy killed Roy Lee, how the fuck do y'all know that? Unless you were there. Th that's all I'm saying. Well, Man, don't, don't, don't the police do investigations and detectives and all this stuff and pick this man? You know what I'm saying? Why are we steady making speculation? We don't know what kind of beef these people have, bro. We don't know who, but it's just speculations. Wow. Um, but it's, it's, it's definitely some things, you know, that, I mean, a lot of times, again, the devil come to divide, yeah. kill, steal, and destroy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times a conversation, a phone conversation between men, yeah. whether it was Yella and Roy Lee, whether it was Yella and it, I don't think him and Mo3 even had that big of a deal like him nah, and Rain nah. wanted had, you know. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, just some conversations, you know what I mean? That's I know the devil try to stop people from coming to see me because yeah. I'm trying to figure out a way to bridge gaps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll say, man, you got rainwater on there. But I had Low DZ on here too. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. Mm -hmm. even co-hosted on mm -hmm. here a lot of times. I called for Yella before I even called for my, for uh, for Rainwater. Rain, Rain, yeah. I just yeah. like I called for your ass. Yeah. I, done, I got damn receipts, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'll, if you go back to my early episodes, I always big up the yeah. fact that I thought Yella was more of a, a marketable, one, marketable right. person. Right. And I always right. listened to, he did Trap and Designer. I done said this a hundred times. And they still try to figure out a way to make it something to make that it it's something. not. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. at the end of the day, I don't have a beef with uh, Rain. I don't have a beef with uh, Low D's. I wasn't even in none of that. But, and, but, they, and I'm, but and I'm do, old. But, wait a minute. But, yeah. And I'm old. Yeah. So I'm trying to bring people together. Yeah. So I don't talk with all that foolishness. And why do I have to, though? Why do I got to have a beef if, if my brother goes shoot up his baby mama house because she got a nigga in there? Now, I want to see. Listen, 
I'm not, not living. No, you right. Saying. You he right. gonna shoot up the house why? Cause she got a nigga in there that come back and get me. And I say, bro, I'm not going over there with that bullshit, bro. She nigga, that nigga, what? You can't control that yeah. woman. Yeah. He get mad. Oh, nigga, you ain't ride with me or somebody. Yeah. Get, yeah. You ain't, bro, that's stupid. Who yeah. gonna tell him? Hey, bro, that's so fucking dumb, bro. Yeah. Everybody want the yes man or nah? You against him? Me too. Nah, bro, I ain't operating like that. I ain't operating like that out of ignorance. Out of ignorance. I'm not operating out of ignorance of somebody saying he ain't from her. He ain't from her. He ain't from Dallas. And this how all this shit started. But it's not even just that. It's the fact that, okay, me and you partners, you come tell me X, Y, Z. I know you. I trust you. I'm not hearing the other side. I don't care about the other side. I don't care about the whole situation because I trust you. And that's what a lot of people end up falling into, Mm -hmm. not knowing that you're going to twist it into your perspective. uh uh And that's what caused the whole Mm -hmm. thing. That's what what caused the whole thing. Well, you got to understand, man. Like I said, I got to always remember Boss talk for unity. Mm-hmm. When I I met you, you from South Dallas, right. prophecy from the Grove from somewhere the Grove, over here. Yeah. You nigga yeah. was young. Y'all just yeah. trying to do something. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Same thing with just uh, even. Uh, I never met Mo three. Right. I didn't right. know Rain before before right. Boss talk. I knew you. Yeah. I didn't even. I, and I met you. I didn't mm-hmm. just know you, but I met, met you. Me, yeah, yeah. I met Puka. I mm-hmm. didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Then when Boss talk come, you can't expect me to forget everything that went on before. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah. act like a nigga. Like, come just, on, man. Nigga, come quit on. playing. Like, come on, man. But that's the game that people play. Yeah, it is because man. they don't. That, they they being controlled. Yeah. Why still by. The devil, yeah. beyond yeah. spiritual and, and, warfare, and a, and a nigga getting the comments and say, "Oh, seven and ride with Roy Lee." No, they gonna do it. That's he what gonna, they gonna do, do it. So that, that, hey man. But at the end of the day, you had a lot of love for Roy Lee. On, y'all man. just niggas come that on. had like, a different like, on, but y'all was still from the same come hood. On. Come on, man. I know his family. Know my family. Him and my cousin were best friends. I'm talking about literally best yeah. friends. Like, bro, it's it's so much that goes on behind the scenes that that don't get talked about. And this uh, this another thing before we move on, y'all had to learn. I had to I got I had to learn to start telling my story. Yeah. And telling what's going on because I'm tired of letting people run with their own assumptions. No, no, no. You're doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. When it comes down to these albums, audio porn, chasing the throne, demigod, grow grow, what what um when when you look at your body of work and the stuff that you right. went down through there on like which one of those albums stick out the, the most to you? The mo the but my, my audio porn is deep to me because um because and we can I, talk about all of them. Yeah, man. because where I was at, you know what I'm saying? I had just quit my job and I jumped out there, you know what I'm saying, like fuck it, I'm finna go rap full time, you know what I'm saying? So that was deep. And then Demigod, Demigod was um Demigod is my fa- is my best album. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's my best album on a national scale because it was um it was like a top album on Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? They had it got a lot of and and we put the most work in and mm. most money into that shit too. And Grody was just so Grody is G R O D E. It's that yeah. great, greatest rap out of Dallas ever. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So that was just a statement album. Like I wasn't trying to go no commercial songs. I'm just rapping like showing niggas like I could out rap everybody. That wow. was more of an ego statement mm-hmm. album. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, Demigod is my um. That's the one. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. Yeah. Wow, and and, and I'm just making uh, I, I'm making sure chasing the throne. You didn't Ch- say Ch- nothing. Ch- I knew it was Ch- one you missed. Yeah, chasing the throne was like I was searching for a new sound. I was because the melodic tunes was coming, so I was trying to do a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I can do it because I did it a lot on Demi Guy, but I didn't have the right engineer to, you know, fuck with the vocals, EQ, and all that. So because that mean everything. So it, 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 it's it's a it's a great album, but it's it's my least favorite though. Wow. You know? <clears throat> what do you think about? Uh, again, I go back to uh, Big X the Plug. Right. Uh, he a big nigga in the city that's doing his thing right, right now. Love his music. I do. I, right. I mean, I interviewed him early on. Uh, how do you feel like he's doing? I feel like, bro, I feel like he doing big shit for the city. You know what I'm saying? Like I have, he one of the first artists that I have seen that's actually like signing other artists now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I saw that. Like, and, and that, that like, man, fuck the music, bro. Like we talking about, like, fuck the music. Like we all can do that. You can blow up anytime with any song. You know what I'm saying? But it's your actions about you pulling the next man up. You make it to a certain level, you start pulling people up with you. And that, and that's what I have saw him do, man. bro. And I and I congratulate him on wow, that. Wow, that he real. figured it yeah, out. Yeah, for and real. He's a young dude. Yeah, for real. So for bro, him to be a young dude and to be a, fa- and a family dude. Yeah, yeah. So. And you pulling people up with you, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're at home, boy, whether, you know what I'm saying? I seen him, you know what I'm saying? Sign little dudes that ain't, I yeah. know they ain't from his hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. big, bro. Yeah. That's I big. I think one of them hood and the other one yeah. is uh, um, Rosama, of course. Yeah, Rosama. Rosama, that's who told him to rap. 
right, though. right, right. So right. that's his real but, partner. But the, you know? look, but the look, but the look it, looks good. It look good. You know what I'm saying? That you pulling other people up and not focus just on you. Because yeah. we have saw it too many times of niggas coming out here and not grabbing nobody and pulling nobody with them. Wow, you yeah. you mentioned uh, Mr. Hit that earlier. Yeah. And baby, what do we, what do you think they bring to the essence of what's going on in Man, Dallas I, I, area? I, I I appreciate. I'm gonna speak on Hit that first. I appreciate Hit that. So much, you know what I'm saying? Because me and him have not always have the best agreement mm. on shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he get a little one track minded too. You Did you see him on that on that interview? Most definitely. Wasn't he hollering and acting? Yeah, 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 trying to he take control. Called me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nigga, I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I see, yeah, you did. He be one track minded sometime and I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But but he is really for the city and he for the artists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I done drop freestyles and hit this say, hey bro, send me that. And play it on the radio. Come on, man. Like, like, what else can you add? This not this no intentions on being a radio. It just he just like it. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta remember, he remember what it was like being an artist because he was an artist himself. Yeah, yeah. And, and at the same time, but it's a lot of them that don't do it though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just he created cause I saw him at um Square Biz Radio. You know, he come from, you know what I'm saying? He come from personality, cause he's a great personality. But he show love, bro. You know what I'm saying? He show love to the artists because like on Street Sw um, Swag Sunday, he don't have to play your stuff. Imagine how many people in his inbox, bro, I got some. This shit hot. Yeah, yeah. And he calling me like, hey, bro, send me that South Dallas. He played. He, at one point for like almost a year straight, he was playing it every Sunday. Well, you know that nigga is... Uh he grew up coming here too. Yeah, okay, he okay. Just like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You niggas yeah, done yeah. come through here. <laughs> nigga, when y'all, nigga, I should have treated y'all bad, nigga. <laughs> nigga, get your ass out of my store. Yeah. <laughs> but he met my wife yeah. first and he used to come here and he yeah. was young. He's yeah. I just love seeing y'all. Even Taylor Gabriel played yeah. for NFL ball. NFL, yeah. Came yeah. out of here. Yeah. The same little old two step yeah. been going on forever. Yeah. And I just love the fact that all y'all here and then y'all rocking like y'all yeah. rocking yeah. and came up I like y'all. I, I got a lot of respect for him, bro. And I, yeah, and I appreciate you know what I'm saying like I say we ain't always been on the bit seeing eye to eye but it's never been a problem already you know? what about Bebe now Bebe Bebe is one that uh, a lot of people you know have good and bad to say about Bebe I'm glad you asked me about that we're gonna speak on that too we're gonna speak on that Bebe is one that, that they you know I seen him the other night boy I had I, on his ass the other night he know what I'm talking about <laughs> boy I was on that nigga ass the other night yeah, boy. yeah. yeah but shout out to Bebe man yeah, we, yeah but he handled his business so, man so me and Bebe relationship is different okay because we started it without the music okay so I came in when I first met him you know what I'm saying we had some conversations and I saw how I saw how he was just kind of like expressing to me how rappers take him down, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because he helped. Then they come back and fire on him because he ain't doing what you know, they feel like. And so I, I came. I said, you know what, bro? I'm never going to ask him to do no favor for me and no music. Wow. So for about a year straight, it never was no music. Wow. Like no conversations about no And I did it on purpose. So we actually grew a genuine love. Like, baby, uh, FaceTime me like today. Like. You know what I'm saying? We talk about family. We talk about everything. And it's the same thing with him. Bro, send me that song. I'm finna play it right now. He gonna play it on K104 for me. That's all right. And so then we just started doing business together because we got that person. We personal now. So now it's like, hey, bro, I know, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you work, you work whatever you want. And so now we can do business, but we have a relationship, bro. And he have, in the position he in, I can honestly say he never let me down, he. Okay, because I remember when he came on the scene when Greg Street kind of right, faded out. Right, he came in, right? right. And uh, you seen that? Were you doing music on Greg Street? Yeah, my man, my, um, Joe Mack and Street was like best partner. So I, I was kind of getting trying to get you. Was know that what I'm when saying? you brought your ass over here? Heard me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you yeah, getting down? Yeah, yeah, you been yeah, taking yeah. some over? Yeah, man. So Street Street ended up going to Atlanta. I got yeah, a relationship with Street too. I, I yeah, talked to him too. Shout out to Greg Street, yeah, man. Yeah. But it's just it's funny, like. You know, a lot of times those guys they give it they all. They do the man, best they can I, I, with the with the man, tools they're giving. I just want to speak. You know, like so everybody look for these dudes to help them. Like he ain't doing this, he ain't doing that, bro. It's only so much somebody can do for you. You know what I'm saying? Like what you gonna do? Like niggas put more people in general put more pressure on they on other people than they do themselves. And then you gotta understand these folks are trying to get to a certain level too. You think baby won't be a K104 his whole life? No, baby, ain't trying to come up. Come on, man. So, yeah. what about they lifestyle? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, and so yeah, I was talking to him the other day. He called me out to the cipher. You know, he tell you like, bro, God, you know, he he like, bro. He said, I ain't gonna lie, seven. He say some of these. He say some of these niggas. 
make me just want to say fuck all y'all. You know what I'm saying? I say, man, I told me, I say, I can only imagine, bro. I say, I can only imagine, man. He say, it's shit, bro, that make me just want to just be like, nah, I ain't dealing with these rap niggas. I'm not dealing with these niggas no more. But, man, that's a genuinely, I don't man, care what nobody say, that's say a this. genuinely great dude, man. Let me say this, man. If you don't, listen, man. We Listen, man. A good <laughs> shepherd is willing to lay down his life for the sheep. Yeah, That's yeah. in John chapter 10. Yeah. If you're going to be a leader. Yeah. You got to be willing to die for what you believe in when it comes to your spirituality, bro. What you believe, so you're going to take a lot of hits, man. Yeah, yeah. As a leader, yeah. you get your butt in that leader state. You want to be the it's one. It's about. You got the biggest chain, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Baby got that big chain on. Yeah, yeah. Once you got that big yeah. chain on, nigga. Come on. That chain say that you're yeah. in a position in the city. You're on the biggest radio. Syndicated. Yeah. yeah. You got a responsibility, to people. You, do. you are. You do. You, you do. Sign that paper. You do. And that's, once you sign that that's paper, no lie. That's it, it, just like you. You. Oh, I want to be the biggest rapper. Y'all yeah. pray this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then when it comes down to don't know how to handle it. Spider Man, one of the coldest <laughs> statements on that show, where man, his uncle told him with great power, as great as whoever that old white man was, with great, great power. Come on now. Yeah. 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 So yeah. when you sign up as a leader. You can expect that's that's real shit. <laughs> you can expect <laughs> this, man. For real, for real. So that that's all it is, man. You yeah. gonna get that when you a leader, bro. Yeah. You yeah. talked about gatekeepers earlier, man, and there are a lot of so called gatekeepers or people right. who and and they consider Bebe to be one of those guys. Yeah. They consider a lot of these people to be one of those people, man. But as you said, we have to we, we have to tie our bootstraps and pick up our own weight a lot of yeah. time. Yeah. Roll you know yeah. roll our yeah. sleeves up and get yeah. the work done. Yeah. You know what Most I mean? Yeah. And, and and I don't think it's gonna come from these outside so a lot of times you got to come from within you yeah. as long as you got this right here in your mm -hmm. hand and you can go out here and go to work you, do your nigga, you ain't got no excuse now uh -huh. Qu quit trying to blame people <laughs> yeah, with your for ass real, ain't coming for up real, for you, real. Uh, shout out uh, country wayne say hey he, he eight hundred thousand a with month a phone with the with phone, phone. With that's phone. it got one phone and he got one of his phones that all they do is shoot videos so what we talking about <laughs> yeah you, know, you see what i'm saying yeah, straight up okay so uh your top three artists of all time all time dead or alive any genre. Jay. Nigga love Jay-Z. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Jay, Lauren Hill. Any genre of all time. Jay, Lauren Hill. Honestly, I'm going to put him in her. He wouldn't be in her two, three years ago. I'm going to say Wayne. Lil Wayne. I'm going to say Wayne. Okay. Uh, why wouldn't he be in her two, three years ago? He was hot two I, or three I, years I, ago. I, I have not, not. Not to me. Really? Yeah. So I have, he ain't been doing shit the last three I, years to me. Nah, but the longevity is like LeBron. You got to put him in there. He don't. He don't. He ain't, he might don't. He might don't give you the Kobe effect. Yeah. But you got to put him in there just for simple fact. Twenty years, he's still around. And I got. I got. I gotta go with him. He earned it. He earned it, and he's still wheezy. Yeah. He's still wheezy. Uh, two, three, four years. I had Pac. I had Big. You know what I'm saying? But I can't, I'm sorry, whoever, forgive me. I can't keep going off potential. Yeah. I can't keep going off potential. I got to go off what's happening and what they've been doing. Jay, Laura Hill had one album. She just amazing to me. So, you know what I'm saying? Jay, Laura Hill, and Weezy. Well, I'm not for the argue with you. <laughs> Well, you know, I know already Pac is better than what you're talking about. Yeah. All that you I'm, you yeah. see the picture yeah. over there, nigga. Yeah. Don't you never come in and disrespect hey, my stuff. I'm, just, like I'm just telling you, man, Jay cool. <laughs> but Jay ain't hey. just me and me, me dear mama, it, it, Jay ain't got nothing hey, that'll man. top that, man. Hey man. Ain't hey, no man. nigga ever did hey, a song hey, better man. than Dear Mama uh, when it comes cool. to it. No, you know That's what, cool. what about you? You think no? Who you think, Jay too? <laughs> that nigga, that, that nobody that ain't listening that reason of a reason of a doubt. Reason of a doubt. Say, is that I'll, what it is? Reason of a doubt. doubt. And on and on and on. But I, that's I'm cool. Jason, I just can't see it that way because I'm. A, I'm. I, I think Scarface getting in that booth and he gonna have his. Ass. You said three though. I know that, but I'm just telling you. Because if you said five, if you put, if you if you put face up. in that booth with Jay yeah, right no. today, you not gonna tell me he just gonna walk all around and. Nah, we and, can't. And, we can't say that yeah, because I'm just, I'm if you talk, if you talking about rappers, can't nobody out rap Eminem I'm like now. Can't I, nobody oh, out you rap. I'm not gonna. I'm a big Fifty Cent fan, so I'm not gonna go down Eminem. Bro, we talking about I want to get 50 on there one day, so I'm I'm not gonna go down Eminem. 
Eminem because Eminem don't <laughs> relate to my culture like that. He don't. I'm not gonna put that in and be riding around don't do that. all the city I'm with sad. Eminem jamming. Do I'm not. I listen to jamming music. Don't do that. I'm gonna put seven before Eminem. Don't do that because he can't. I jam. That's, like, that's like them I telling you. Jamming? That's like them telling you you ain't from Dallas. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Out <laughs> jam. That's a totally different thing. No, it's not. Out jamming. Our culture. Out jamming. Boom, boom, boom. I'm talking, about, I'm talking, I'm about, talking about jamming, I'm talking nigga. About rapping, it's all together. in the same bubble, nigga. I'm, I'm going to go with him over everybody rapping. Jamming? Nah, not jamming. See what I'm saying? You, nigga, you, you can't not do jamming. that. Mm -mm. It, because I'm in the South. So I'm going to be real with you. I'm going with jamming. If I go jamming, I'm going Future and Drake. I'm just saying. See what I'm saying? If because, I'm going jamming. Because you, you, that's what you're going to be listening to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See what jamming, I'm saying? When you go to the club, you're going to be like, damn, I hope they play that Future and Drake. So I think people are so misconfused. That one. On track mind and shit you say <laughs> that what you doing right now you know what I'm saying when you if you saying it just lyrical it ain't just lyrical all this so stuff is wrapped up picture. come on man Jay <laughs> that nigga love oh, Jay. That, you know you got similarities to Jay too. Now I, I can't deny that. I, that's what I come up under. Yeah, that's, face that's Jay. What, that's what I come up under. So that I see now. I see yeah, where you I at. I come with up under face all day. That's what I listen to. Face. You know what I'm saying? But when Dre you came Wayne, here, when ten years ago was Jay your favorite rapper? Don't lie, Mo. Man, I've been listening to Jay since I was. Well, who was that nigga with y'all that kept stumbling over them raps? I, I don't know. Them. I told you, I didn't Bro, know. Them we people. sat up in here, y'all had me in the store for a whole day. Pop, you know uh, that nigga said, man. Uh, uh, Prophecy put that whole thing together. Well, all I'm telling you, I was here for a while. It was one nigga with y'all. The dark dude. That dark nigga. <laughs> that nigga could not rap like that. Oh, I haven't seen I him, ain't since seen that him day. no more since either. That day, he ain't saw me. I got his picture. I said, that's that nigga right there. <laughs> that's that nigga right there. Yeah. He couldn't get it right He, he tried about, for about 30 Sit minutes. Sit him over there, like, let him get it. And like, then no, he come bro. back again. And it's like, damn, man, he yeah. wasn't prepared. He say, like, damn. Damn, you he won't rap. That nigga don't rap no more. He quit. I'm telling you, that nigga quit. That nigga quit. quit. That nigga's like, damn, damn, damn. That nigga quit. That nigga ain't going. That nigga ain't die. Sell get him there. Oh, yeah. I yeah. said, oh, damn. Sell got here. Then that Mexican boy, he went in. Yeah, yeah, M3. Then, then M3. that nigga come yeah, back. Yeah. See, you don't remember the other nigga name. I don't remember him. Because he fell off. That nigga quit. That's it. That was it. Y'all murdered him right here. You need that. <laughs> Y'all made that boy stop rapping in y'all early days. Yeah. It was old. It was pressure. Yeah. yeah. All the people. Nigga, I walk up and I'm looking at the people. I said, people I, said, why? Why? I said, why, bro? You didn't say it was going to be like this. He put that shit. <laughs> probably put it together. That shit yeah. was wild. I enjoyed yeah. it, though. Y'all yeah. was so young, man. Yeah. But no, nah, man, I thank you for coming on the show, man. Yeah. How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to look out? Man, the number seven, T H A G R E A T on everything, man. And, um,. You know, like I say, man, I want to do more of this. This is what I want to do. Because yeah, that's yeah. where it's at now, to be yeah. honest with you. Shout out to all the people that be coming through here from Gip and uh, shoot, all the people, man. Yeah. Carlos Miller, all the people, man. Ice T. Yeah. Like, like this is what this, this is a new world order. It is, man. Everybody is coming through and they're giving a story and they're great stories. Yeah. And not only are, are they great stories, but therapeutic because they can help people. Yeah. And I think that's what God is doing in the midst most of this. Definitely, most definitely. You know definitely. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all right for me to like, uh, shoot, Scarface and Pimp C, my greatest all that's time. Right. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, it's yeah. all right for me to, yeah. to like uh, who I like. Who you like. And who yeah. you like yeah. is who you it's like. All and it's yeah. all subjective. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think that needs to be heard. And yeah. I think people yeah. need to hear from the dirty South. Because yeah. our opinions do count. What, what, what Pimp say? Nigga, the South got something to say. The, no, <laughs> that wasn't Pimp C. Oh, no. That was Drake. That was Drake. That was Drake. See, old nigga. You're right. Right, you right. Pimp Z said, right. "Quit hating the South, nigga." Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that, yeah. so that's a part. That you know. the I gotta let, I yeah. got to let, I got to let Jay make it, cause I really be on Jay here. But yeah. he ain't do nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He took B. That was a, that was a big thing. I'm a, <laughs> yeah. We all the same age, yeah. so yeah, yeah, I got yeah, personal yeah, issues yeah. with yeah. shit. That that's, how, that's how my dad used to be about Jordan, <laughs> and he used to hate Jordan. I'd be like, "Nigga, you a hater, nigga. How you hate Michael Jordan?" He just, man, I don't hate Jay now, but I just, I just, I done had some calls, cause I'll say something crazy. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I listen to Boosie before I listen to Jay or something. Ah, man. Nigga be like, what you say? I'm like, yeah, nigga, that's what's jamming yeah. to me. Yeah. And But I got to he definitely a dude that paved the way for the people that he affected, yeah, like yourself, you know? 
Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm a Bun B fanatic. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm UGK for life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So ain't nothing ever going to change that. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I respect everybody, including Face, all these guys. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But you'll see it in the show, though, because a lot of the people that come on here are reflective of the ones I the ones rock you with. Yeah. 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 yeah, Because yeah. I'll go find that nigga. He'll be like, yeah. where he at? Oh, I'm driving down. I got to uh, talk uh, to that nigga. About, to we got a pimp story. You know what I'm saying? You'll see that a lot on here. Straight up. But don't, don't judge me. Where did you know the name that? Seven the Great come from? So seven, you know, seven is God chosen number. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know that really, you know that it, it, it stems from my neighborhood. You know, it's Dixon Trey Five Seven. So, oh, okay, the seven comes from my neighborhood, and that, that's what I carry with me. I carry that whole neighborhood. The Great actually comes from my homeboy who was murdered by the police, James Harper. Yeah, he was killed 2012 by the police. So that's what he used to call me, the Great. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. And so it was just seven. At first, it was Yogi Star because I grew up with the name Yogi. My grandma named me mm -hmm. Yogi, so I had Yogi Star. Y O G S T A A R. I mean A R R. And so I just do like a real venture, like I'm going sell them. I'm putting the hood on my back, you know what I'm saying? It's sell them. So boom, he ended up passing away. I added the great. He used to mm. call me the great. In 2012, wow. he was killed by the police on Dixon. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's how the seven the great came. Wow, man. That's yeah. that's that's something else, man, the way you carry in the memory, man. Yeah. And you know, for all the Roy Lee fans, you 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 had nothing to but love for Roy I Lee. Say, man, and, and I, his family. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta um you see at the end of my, I my seen cycle, at the end of the, the, the cycle, cycle, Roy Lee yeah. because like it took me a long time not to get over the the, the 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 nothing mad, but just get over like how it ended. Like people don't understand that somebody you grew up with, y'all have a conflict and he end up passing away and you never get to say what you wanna say. That hurt. Bro, yeah, that hurt to that, that y'all just can't talk it out because we brothers, you know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. got all love for him, man, love for his family, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's no hard feelings at all. Wow, at all. I, and I and I know that, man. Like yeah. I said, the main thing is that we get closure. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. The same thing. I, like like I said, even just the even talking to yellow the way the other guys did, mm -hmm. anything where we conversating and and we. Having some kind of breakthrough. Clearing the earth. I always know that yellow went once he got shot and all that yeah. stuff, it affected him. It affect anybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not only him, uh losing friends. It affect yeah. both sides was affected mm -hmm. with the whole situation where where there was issues in the city. Right. But God can you know what my wife always say and it's on the wall behind our bathroom wall. With God all things are possible. Yeah, most definitely. So anything can yeah. can can change and yeah. everybody can grow. But there's always gonna be some confrontation. That was I'm pretty sure Mr. Lucci and and and, and Pookie and all them had, had before y'all yeah, even something. came into play. Uh -huh. Nemesis had, had an issue. Some, yeah, Man, yeah, they may yeah. have had something that with yeah. maybe Snake or any of them yeah, guys. They could have yeah, had issues yeah, back yeah, in the day, yeah, man. That's how it go. Uh, this is just the way. Mm -hmm. go. Bobo or any of them boys back there when they were doing their thing, mm -hmm. he might have had an upset moment with UGK. Yeah. All I'm saying, everybody, even your boy that you mentioned, uh, Cottonmouth Jesse, he yeah. had issues with the radio station. Yeah. So yeah. everybody yeah. done had issues. Yeah. Yeah. But that don't mean we can't come together as men yeah. and yeah. have discussions and, discussion. and try to figure out ways yeah. to move yeah. forward, That's bro. That's it, bro. That's it. And I want to get a huge shout out, man. Go to them Dallas Cyphers, man. Puka doing a great man. job. We're putting that shit together, locking it up, and doing what, exactly what your wife said. He is creating unity through the that's city, hard. bro. That's and that's just, you know what I'm saying? Salute to him for real, bro. Wow. And the dude, um, JD, who shot the cypher, great dude out of Memphis. Everybody need to lock in with him, too. Okay, where well, y'all gonna do another? This will be the fifth one. So, so. Is he coming like once a year, twice a year? Nah, he just, he just doing them like how he feels. Oh, okay. So, with, with the next one, we're thinking about doing it live. Okay, that'll be hard. Live, live. cypher. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. just like we did in the, in your, in the shop. Oh, you gonna go on and admit to that now, huh? Yeah, nigga. Now, in 2020, I mean, in, we had uh, him here in, that was a long ten time ago. ago. 10 years yeah, ago, Sam the Great wasn't yeah. that damn great back then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he so, was Sam the Great. Yeah, so, he so, was getting it so together. That's what we thinking about doing the next one, doing it live. You know what I'm saying? So where you got to know your shit, and we selling tickets, like making it a whole event. What do you? Why y'all? What about Big Tug them? Y'all don't ever. You don't ever talk to him. Reach out to all. Pooka, he reached out to everybody. He just really. Honestly, I'm just and I'm speaking for him. He just he just rock with the people who send their verses, send back, verses bro. back. You that's know what all. I'm saying? That's like all. that's all he doing. He ain't. He reach out to certain people. Like, hey, bro, I want you on the cipher. Some some say, okay, cool. 
He got a deadline where he needed the verses back, and he just rocking with whoever well, sent the verses, verses back. back. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's, that's hard. It. That's yeah. hard. So, yeah. so that that's a good thing too. Just any way to bring uh, unity in the community hey, man. is a great thing. You see, it's doing what it's doing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah. That's always a good thing. You can hop on the platform. Come on now, get your name out there. Get your so. name out there and, and, and keep pushing that brand. Yeah, for real. Check it, man. Yeah. Hey, man, make sure y'all look at these clips coming up next, man. Got some hard clips coming up by Seven the Great. It's Going down, man. It's been a thank you for coming on the man, show. I appreciate y'all having me. We love you, bro. Yeah, yeah, I love Matter y'all. Matter of fact, too, we, gonna get this, we, gonna get it, we gonna make him spit or you gonna let him make it? Let give him. us some poetry, nigga, or something. Oh, you, you, want, you want some? You want yeah, some? Give me, yeah, give me something. You did a whole acapella album, hell. So I did. I'm from South Dallas, Dixon Circle. I'm with Erica Badu. Murder rate is high, belly of the beast, shit like a zoo. Place where the president killed. You know, JFK. You know what I'm saying? But it's a dark cloud over our city, damn, it's so deep. Rapper killed on the freeway, his name Mo3. We still ain't recovered from that. Blood is spilling, it's a war going on outside. Blood is spilling. When a legend die like that, it's gonna leave a black eye. Streets going body for battle, we need a stack guy. Nothing really matters to the nigga, not even black lives. Play the God, I be the light they see through dark skies. Keep it on me, I ain't living with no fur. Bars go overhead like a crystal chandelier. When it come to bars up in my city, I'm top tier. But enough about Dallas, let me tell you why I'm here, boss. Clips extended, I'm coming for Drake and Kendrick. After this flow, hip-hop gonna need forensics. Then I want Wayne. I know you think, that nigga crazy. Murder Maybach, then I'm coming for Slim Shady. Maybe it's do or die if I go with Jay. Fuck it. It's do or die like I'm shooting a Jay. I'm busting. He probably won't give me the time of day. So for right now, I'm Merck J. Cole and Kanye. <laughs> Boss talk one on one. Seven to great. That nigga hard. That's the, he wasn't rapping like that when I first met him. Nigga hot right now. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of yeah. Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And you, bro. Love y'all too, man.